sure. Uh, has it started yet? Can that be inappropriate? It has started, and hello and welcome to uh, Pixel Scandal Presents Paper Scandal Prison Breakers. Hi. Hey. Behold. How's, how's everybody doing today? Good. Uh, awesome. Very like good. Coffee. Better um, than normal. Uh, well, I'm Kurt. I'm going to be the GM today. Uh, we've got several of our lovely cast and a special guest off to my left. Left, My camera's flipped. <laughs> Why do you have us under Dungeons and Dragons on Twitch? Because they haven't initiated the tabletop RPG yes. uh, category yet, but they are adding it. So are they? Oh, good. They are adding a tabletop well, RPG we category. We of roll call, so I'll go next. I'm Gidget, uh, and I'm also here today. And over, which way are you? That way. Well, uh, Orestes is below you. Know. I'm what? You're below, uh, Gidget. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. How are you doing today? Brady bunching it here. I'm getting more caffeine. <laughs> How many five Second hours are we up to today? This is two. And there's this. It's far too early for all that B12, man. <laughs> You're gonna... I can't overdose on B12. I've done the research. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hurt yourself. And our special guest. Uh, our special guest. Kadeev. I'm Kadeev. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm awake and I'm at my house and I've evacuated children. So <laughs> I can Wait. play a game. So I'm excited. <laughs> Being How awake you... is half the battle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As someone who has recently inherited four children, I'm very interested to learn this evacuation four? protocol. Where did you pick up a fourth? I don't know. One of them multiplied. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> he he, summer, let, he let one of them. Last I looked, there was three, and then I came back, and there was another one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? What just happened here? If you the let the kids eat after midnight, they multiply. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't let them get wet or eat after midnight. Oh man! He said the our kids swimming last night and fed him after midnight. I man, know. It's screwed. Yeah, and it multiplied. We got two today. Well, Woke up with two this morning. Yeah, that's true. All right. And how are you today in the line? I'm really good. I'm excited. I just started a week-long vacation. Woohoo! Although Thanks. it doesn't technically start until Monday. I'm Weird. super stoked because I haven't oh, had cool. one in a very long time. It hasn't technically started yet because you've been on the phone with work for the last five hours. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're starting your wild Still, vacation? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I made it. I'm here. I'm happy. Nice. All right. I'm ready okay. to break some prisons. Yeah, let's <laughs> break that doing, prison. Right? All right, All so. Of them. We're going to break them. Just... This, this is, this is uh, Paper Scandal Prison Breakers. Um, we are running a, this is a one shot of World of Dungeons Turbo Breakers, a, uh, an RPG written by John Harper. Um, it is a very slim down, trimmed down version of Dungeon World which is supposed to be reminiscent of, uh, you know, old school D&D. So very OSR inspired. There's very few rules. Um, and the rules that are there are, um, are kind of hilarious. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm, re I'm looking forward to running it. So the rules are there are no rules? <clears throat> well, the rules are if you do something risky or the outcome is uncertain, roll 2d6 plus your stat. Use only three stats, and if you get a six or less, you fail or something bad happens or something. It's a bad outcome. You fail. Things get worse somehow. Seven to nine, uh, you, you do it, but there's some complication or uh, cost to pay. Uh, on a 10 or 11, you did it just the way you were hoping to do it, like no, no cost or bad outcomes. And on a... 12 plus critical success great success you did it uh and something better than you expected happens so those are the rules uh there's only three stats they're not super important but they'll pop up in chat so if you see insight that's using your smarts or uh trying to understand stuff if you see prowess that's like attacking or being aggressive and if you see resolve that's like resisting stuff or uh or like keeping your cool so okay. That's the game. Um, how about everybody introduces to their characters? Let's start uh, top left up here with Even, or sorry, Evan. 
I keep, I'm going to read that as even every time. <laughs> well, I renamed myself to even since it's like that on the thing, so you can say even. <laughs> it actually kind of fits, but. Um, even is a 38-year-old hipster from Silicon Valley, uh, Silicon Alley, mm. uh, New York. Um, he just recently sold his startup app, Avo, which uh, tracked artesian maker stores and craft brew pubs that sold avocado <laughs> toast in his, uh, your GPS vicinity. He <laughs> sold the app for $150,000, and um, Evan is a very bright guy, but he has a very short attention span. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What's uh, what's Evan? What's Evan look like? Uh, even uh, has a uh, kind of a baldish shaved head and a neon fuchsia beard. Beautiful. That's not going to stand out in a dungeon at all. <laughs> yeah. Super camo. Look, yeah. we might end up in the dungeon prison full of neon bearded people. You, <laughs> you never, never know. know. You don't There's know where crazy it's... rifts. Where are these rifts going to take us, guys? We don't Pink. know. It could, we could rift into a rave, and then we're going to look like Neon. we stand out, and even is going to be like, yeah, goblins. Man, this, is, this is where I belong. <laughs> Done. Pink Neon Goblins. Oh. Wr wrote it down. Yeah. All right. Uh, Scott, why don't you tell us a little bit about Scott? Scott is the quintessential failed criminal. Like, <laughs> he is just bad at it. He spent his whole life trying to make it trying to get in with, like, a an organized crime kind of group, but never making it, just <laughs> like, resorts to stealing car stereos out of now only old cars, because new cars, you can't really steal the stereo anyway. <laughs> it's like the whole so, dash. Yeah, yeah, it's just you can't really just disassemble the whole dash to take out that whole infotainment system. That's way beyond him. <laughs> um, but, yeah, he... Lived in New York, essentially owes money to every CD establishment in the city, and has decided to try and do this as a last ditch effort to make the money back so he doesn't get both his knees broken. Okay. Uh, and he totally has like the like greasy sort of long hair, and wears a old sport coat and a t-shirt underneath it. Looks like a really bad car salesman for sure. Okay. Nice. Very cool. Uh, Melody, what's what's Melody's deal? Uh, okay, uh, Melody Thompson is a uh, scientist. She works for the Department of Energy and Engineering. Uh, she uh, she looks kind of like uh, I don't know female Indiana Jones. Mm. <laughs> um, not not very girly, kind of uh, tomboyish, kind of on the like tough girl side. Um, She's really into science, doesn't really care about people much, kind of people get in the way of science. That's mm -hmm. kind of her, her MO. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, and last but definitely not least, do you want to tell us a little bit about Stormageddon? Uh, <clears throat> Stormageddon does science. <laughs> Stormageddon make best science for all time. All right. Stormageddon go into break and Stormageddon lose mom and now walk back, walk on back feet because front feet are for scientists. So Stormageddon will find mom and go home. And I feel like <laughs> I feel like I need to show what Stormageddon looks like because we have a we have a little picture here. Yeah, I think, sure. I think there that you go, help. studio audience. Um, that is Stormageddon. I don't know if I can zoom in on that, but yeah, <laughs> Stormageddon is a is a big cat man with a robot arm and some armor. It looks like maybe yeah. a gun on his back. Yep. So Storm Stormageddon didn't always walk on his back feet, but now does, no. right? Yeah. So the front feet can be for science. Yeah, that is that is a new uh, evolution on this altered reality or this alternate timeline version of Storm again. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Well, that's that's our cast. <clears throat> the world of uh, of Turbo Breakers or Prison Breakers is <clears throat> it's modern day, uh, and but the alternate reality part is that uh, these. 
dimensional rifts like tear into our reality and slam fantasy dungeons into the middle of normal cities. So what'll happen is like the mall will suddenly just a break will open and now half the mall is covered in in dungeons or or like filled with goblins. And there are people called breakers who are sort of like put, you know, self put together teams that go into these breaks to close the break and they do that by finding the keystone crystal and destroying it somehow and hopefully getting out alive. So that's that's sort of the premise of the world. Uh, where we pick up, you guys, uh, you guys have been on missions before. You guys have formed a team somehow, and uh, you you your instruments start going nuts. There's a break nearby, and you guys all what do you what do you drive? Like how do you get to the break? Uh. I I drive an old, uh, really beat up um, uh, VW thing. <laughs> you drive a thing, nice. okay? Perfect. Yeah. With cool. the windshield down at all times. Yeah, with the windshield down at all times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody inside hates it except for Stormageddon, who's like leaning out the window. <laughs> Whose head is hanging out the passenger side window, anyways. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. Now, do we all ride together, or do we? You just don't have to meet at the. Okay. Um, but someone, whoever, like, tracks the brakes, like, your, your instruments go crazy, and, well, let's pick up there. So your instruments go nuts. What do you guys do? Uh, um, I, I think I would well, pull out my, my tricorder. Okay. And, uh, hand it to Stormageddon and tell him to track the interference. Stormageddon, take this. Do science. Okay. <laughs> Science. So Storm again immediately licks the screen of the tricorder. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We gotta clean it, get it prepped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. All science projects start. Yep. Oh, Science. good. The cat licked the science thing. <laughs> science, it's for science good luck. Done. It's good luck. So are you Make gonna do there. some science? Yeah. So All right. Well, lick, that sounds like a screen. smarts type thing. Why don't you roll insight for me? I'm assuming I'm driving. A storming at doing this sort of thing. This is me driving. Uh, there. Seven. All right. So, uh, Stormageddon licks it, and it starts to, like, it's sort of like the slobber gets into the instrument a little bit, and yeah. so the screen wobbles. Yeah. So, you're pretty sure that it's downtown. Like, wherever, the, the break must be downtown. But you're not, you, you haven't like pinpointed it exactly, but you have a direction to go. Where are we going, Stormageddon? That way. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, I so. <laughs> so you're tearing, you're tearing ass downtown. Do you call up your, your, uh, the rest of your team? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, Siri, call Scott. <laughs> 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 so you it, it, you get back uh, calling Scotsman Hunters. <laughs> God damn it, Siri, no! It's like the last payphone in, like, New York outside of, like, a bodega. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just, it calls a payphone, and he's just standing there. And he can hear it from his bedroom, but he's using it as his own phone. <laughs> so, yes. I, I live upstairs above this 24-hour... Mom and pop so you, store, so you, and they hate it. They hate that, like they keep trying to get them, get the phone company to come take out the payphone. And I'm like, no. <laughs> you go down and like pay off the guy every time he comes by to take it out. Well, yeah, the guy, the guy comes by, and I'm just like, I, I'm always talking on it. Yeah. When he arrives, and he's like, oh, I'll come back later. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, so your payphone starts ringing. I'll, Hustle down the, the like fire escape down the side of the building. Get uh, out there. And it looks like some hobo has answered it. And he's like, <laughs> yes. Hello? Yeah. Uh, yeah, hey, li- listen. I need listen. Scott. Jimmy, 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 it's for me. It's for me. Jimmy. Scott? Oh, it's for you. <laughs> he like hands, hands over the phone. <laughs> this is I'll do the like the, the lapel wipe. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like just... Nasty. Yeah. And you hold it, like, way far away from your face. Oh, yeah, yeah. Never actually... make contact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scott, there's been a detection of a rift downtown. Ah! I'll be right there. We're we gotta make some money this time. We're, uh, we're coming down, uh, third. Uh, okay. I'll head over there. <laughs> and I think I've got, like, a 91 Honda Accord. <laughs> Like, perfect. Yeah. With no stereo, because I had to sell it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. Stormageddon like Scott. Scott have own answering service. Sign a very important man. I know. Uh, <laughs> it's a little annoying how long it takes to get a hold of him, though. Um. Who... Stor- Stormy, we need to call uh, Evan. What? Call... Oh. Siri, call Evan. Uh, Siri. Evan, even. Stormageddon, call even Siri. Calling even. <laughs> I did not know. It just works for Stormy. <laughs> it only works for Stormy. Oh man. Hello. Hello. Uh, You're gonna have to speak up. It's really loud in here. Even. Rift. Yes. Rift. Oh, come Rift? Now. Where? Yes, come now, Rift. Over there. <laughs> Go. Over where? T- tell me it's there. downtown. Yes. Downtown is a very big place. We're downtown. We're, 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 I'm already downtown. We're shooting down third right now. Oh, Siri. I'm actually on third. Can you come swing and pick me up? Sure. Siri, right. open Avo app. <laughs> I'm I'm at that vegan place with the topless uh waiter waitresses on the corner of uh third and fourth. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> third and fourth? <laughs> yeah. They, they, oh man. The, the place that gives like really bad gas. <laughs> Why would this this city is a terrible <laughs> urban place? Why would third and fourth <laughs> meet? <laughs> they don't run parallel. At all. <laughs> <laughs> it's the place is just really long. Like it's third, one like third, they could only get C, like I don't <laughs> It's like the width of a no, shoebox, but like the whole length of the block. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, we're right around the corner. Come outside. All right. I'll head outside. And... All right. So the thing f- swings by, picks you up. Uh, as soon as you get downtown, you you sense you see the commotion. Uh, there you hear sirens. Like there's tons of cops going towards downtown. Uh, you you can pretty much figure out like oh obviously they're going to the place that we need to be. Um, and so you can follow the, 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 all the commotion. Um, does Scott have any misgivings about following the cop cars? Uh, no, I haven't done anything today. Okay. <laughs> like. <laughs> today? Like, yeah. Cops aren't ever on the lookout for a 91 Honda Accord. Um. Like, <laughs> <laughs> So, you know what? I probably stole it like in the late nineties, right? And, and no just one just kept... no one wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it's just just beat up and horrible, and nobody ever <laughs> reported it stolen because they were just happy to find the parking space. <laughs> <laughs> they were just happy to be able to claim insurance and get something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, look, we could get fourteen dollars from our insurance company. <laughs> yeah, please don't. That's show awesome. Up. Please don't show up. <laughs> So you guys head downtown. Um, it looks like there is a uh, a perimeter set up around the around the prison. Um, okay. There's oh, like good. But, yeah. The there's uh, there are the alarms at the prison are going off, um, and there's several sirens. Like people, police are waving off uh, people. Um, you probably have some sort of like certified breaker identification that you've gotten from FEMA okay. um, for being, you know, being able to go into breaks. Mm-hmm. So as you drive by, you like flash your all access pass and they like wave you in. All access. <laughs> and We're very uh, and, important. Yeah. Very important people. Uh, and there mine, is a, just like a, like a party wristband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that. I, I leave on when I shower. I'm just allowed <laughs> to be here and I'm allergic to penicillin. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so there's like a there's like a tent being set up. Um, 
with like a couple of FBI guys around it. Um, and so like when you show your pass, they sort of direct you towards the tent. Uh, I immediately take out my tricorder and start trying to take readings of the area. Okay. You want to do some science? I do. I want to do some official science. Okay. Go ahead and roll insight. Scienced. Nice. It makes such an adorable noise when you roll. All right. Yeah. (laughs) It's like bloop. (laughs) Um, All right. So you, you have done science. Congratulations. Um... Yeah, it. You get the sense that the uh, the break has ripped like up from the basement of the prison, like up through it, and so it's just taken a big chunk out of the center from the from the back corner of this prison. Mm. Um, there's no visible signs on the on the outside, other than of course like the alarms going off and and all the people going nuts outside. But there's no um, there's no like signs of the br- the actual break outside of the prison. Okay. Can we visually see anything? Like, is it represented? That's, like, yeah, that's what I mean. There's, and... um, okay. you, what do you mean, like? Like, even outside, is it, is it very plain and visible that there's a break there? Like, how is so, it represented visually from here? So when, when a break happens, you get a lot of, um, you get a lot of, like, weather disturbance. Mm-hmm. So you end up like there's there's probably a lot of storm clouds brewing and like uh, claps of thunder and lightning going on from the rip in our reality. Um, it may not actually be a storm. It's just like the the sudden pressure of this other um, reality busting in on ours has like torn things up. And so like there's a lot of high wind, um, and it's the the weather patterns are like. These weird cluster lightning happening nearby um, is is signifies yeah this is this is a this is obviously a break. Um, and so they 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 usher you into the tent, and uh, I think they look. Let's see who looks the most official out of all of you. Probably Melody, right? Yeah. Okay. One hundred percent. Or the cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. well, I mean, to be fair, nobody's gonna question a giant cat that shows up yeah. with yeah. a metal arm and a gun. Think, and yeah, even <laughs> like, even in even in this world, a giant tiger walking around on its hind legs in armor is a little unsettling. And so most people just sort of yeah, get just go, just get the yeah. just please. This isn't Portland. No. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so you, uh, you, you make your way into the tent, nobody stops you, uh, as Stormageddon is standing, like, how tall is Stormageddon? Um, well, he's a dire tiger, uh, on his hind legs, so, I don't know, seven? Like seven, seven feet? A little over seven feet. Sort tall. of hunched a little bit? Yeah. Seven feet out of hunch? <laughs> yeah. Okay. They, uh, yeah. They can be, they can Go be ahead. like thir- 13 foot long, man. Oh really? He's a baby. He's he's yeah. <laughs> he's a juvenile. <laughs> he's a teenage okay. tiger. Oh all right. <laughs> so I was like, dude, like tiger, not a joke, and a dire tiger. Are you a teenage mutant dire tiger? Well, no. I'm not a mutant. <laughs> I mean, no. you're he's not. No, no, kind not of a are. mutant. <laughs> like That's specious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so I walk in the tent. How dare you? That from even. And from I experience, know. I know that the military usually has some type of presence here, so I look for the guy that looks like the biggest jackass who's probably in charge, and uh, I'll walk up to him and go, all right, what's going on here? Uh, and he, he, he does this thing, because he's like, he's standing there, he's looking all angry, and he, you walk up to him, and he does this thing where... He wants to answer, and then he swallows, and he looks over at this short woman next to him, and she says, I'm in charge. Oh, good. Oh, thank God. Someone who actually has a brain. Uh, what's going on here? Well, obviously we have a break in this prison. Um, several of the inmates have escaped. Uh, several guards are still trapped within. Um, we've got so far, no fatalities that we know of. Uh, none that we've been able to. Any, any, no, no one who's escaped has has 
we haven't found any dead yet. Uh, but the uh, injuries uh, are, are stacking up. Uh, it appears that there was sev- a bit of structural damage uh, when the break opened. Um, and they're reporting signs of, I don't know, crocodiles? I, it, you'll have to, you'd know oh, better than I. Good. <laughs> crocodiles in the streets. I did, didn't even bring my swim trunks. But we'll, uh, uh, as this is not obviously a normal situation, uh, this is a government-run facility, we will be providing you, a, a liaison, um, she goes, Agent Pinkman! And this, uh, sort of, like, douchey-looking dude in a suit turns around, and he's wearing, a he's got, a, like, a suit coat on, but under the suit is his, uh, bulletproof vest, um, and he's got, a like, a submachine gun strapped to his chest. Uh, and he walks over and he says, yes. Uh, this this will be your break team. Uh, let us know if you need anything or let them... It, this Agent Pinkman... Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Uh, and he's she's addressing you, Melody. Uh, Dr. Thompson. Ah, Dr. Thompson. Dr. Thompson, Agent Pinkman. Don't kill each other. Uh, please hurry. Um, and uh, she hands you, like, a radio. This is how you can get back to HQ if you need... Uh, Military assistance. Okay. And I, like, hand off the radio to one of you three. Whichever one of you is standing next to me. Do you hand it to Stormy? I'm going to say you start handing it to Storm again, and I immediately grab it. It's like, <laughs> I know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So uh, Agent, Agent Pinkman sort of, uh, he doesn't, he, he sort of stands like he doesn't care what's happening, but uh, he doesn't, like, vo- verbalize it. How old does this guy look? Uh, late 30s, early 40s. Okay. Uh, you ever been in a break before? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, great. That'll be great. Yeah. But I've, yeah. uh, I did two tours, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, Not a lot of crocodiles with guns in <laughs> In the, the crocodiles war. have guns? You never know. I mean, hmm. tigers. As long as we don't meet the neon goblins again. Uh, and he, like, I I don't know a lot about guns, but he starts asking you questions about his ammunition, if it'll pierce the crocodile's hide. Or if he needs, bet like, different... Well, until we get in there, we won't exactly know what we're looking at. He says, so. you know what, don't worry about it. And he reaches over and he grabs, like, a couple of grenades and stuff and shoves them in his pockets. This will be fine. When we see one, shoot it, kill it, and then we'll reassess. Very well. After you, I uh, follow your lead. All right, let's let's go. Miss Thompson. I'll I'll go <laughs> run and grab my duffel bag and my big backpack out of the car. Oh, and I'll take the screwdriver out of the ignition. Oh, so nobody nice. takes my car. So no one steals your car. <laughs> 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 We're going to a prison and now you have a shank. You take the screwdriver so no one can steal your car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I, I love what you guys are putting in our chat over here. Yeah. So Evan holds out the radio so Stormy can taste it a little bit and then Storm again and sniffs it. <laughs> uh, it's all right. Dirty. That's awesome. Uh, so uh, Agent, Agent Pinkman uh, follows your lead, but of course when you guys get to the gate, um, he'll sort of take over, like he knows how to get in and out of the prison. Okay, we'll follow you. So, lead. Kurt, I yes. have I, for my shield. I have a, a riot shield that I got when all these breaks started happening. I just kind of like confiscated one. Okay, and it's one of those that you put your arm in. Okay, and I've got the detonator built into the shield for my C4s, so I can throw C4 with my right hand and then trigger it with my left hand in the shield. <laughs> So okay. I, I have a brick of C4 yeah. in my right hand, and I'm holding my right shield. You're just walking around with C4? Yep. Just, okay. That's happening. Does it have, like, is in it your primed? Hand like, you like already have the... <laughs> Literally in my hand. And I've painted it. Like, I've totally, like, arts and crafts the C4. You'd be dazzled you can, with you know, C4 you could, brick. You could yep. sculpt it into anything you want, like little figurines. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Little, little avocado missiles. toast. Explosive <laughs> unicorn. <laughs> like just it. spray it on toast throw it like a frisbee mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um all right great 
detonator probe is in his butt. So yeah. you were walking around with live C4 in your hand. And I will go grab my and a detonator. Out okay. Of, yeah. Out of the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys okay. grab your gear. And put up the windshield. <laughs> okay. It looks um, rainy. You're right. It's a good call. Yeah. <laughs> it is rainy. Better put up the windshield. Yeah. Doesn't have a roof, but. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so he leads you into the, uh, into the, into the prison. So I'm going to, I'm going to jump us over this transition here and we're going to jump to the first floor. Are we going to start using the map thing now? Oh yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so at the very bottom of this map, um, just scroll to the bottom. I didn't turn on the the, the vision because uh, I'm bad at this. So the very bottom of this map, there is a secure entrance uh, that you can you can use. Uh, so he kind of leads you up that way. How do you zoom out? You have to flip us over to the map. Okay. Oh yeah, I gotta drag you guys to that yeah, map. I was gonna don't say, I? All I see is the yeah. prison breakers thing. All right, here we go. Uh, I see it on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I see there it we on go. Twitch too. I'm like, oh, look at right, so, on Twitch. So you're there oh. now. Um, I. What just scroll to the bottom because I can't remember how to how to zoom you to a place. Okay. I can I can ping a place. I gotta I figure that out. We are now. So yeah, so at the bottom here you have a uh, you have this secure entrance and there's like a a lobby area or not a lobby but a you know interior yard area uh, where guests would go or people who being brought in to talk to the management. Um. <clears throat> Uh, inside there are some, there's some military in there, but, uh, beyond the front door, the front entrance of the prison, there's, uh, it looks like they're just waving you through. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start trying to take some readings to see if I see, uh, any like, um, radioactivity or, or anything like that in the area. Sure. Dimensional energy. Yeah. That's spew, what... spew some psycho babble or some, uh, some, sci- some science babble and then give me, give me a insight check. Oh, uh, the readings here are uh, going to tell us whether or not the uh, the the rift energy is stable or uh, unstable, and whether or not it can penetrate the uh, we we can penetrate into the break. Mm. Um. So you're pretty sure. <laughs> I rolled a six. Yeah, you're. Uh, th- they can see. You're. You're pretty certain that. Um, that there is going to be some pretty heavy rift activity right on the other side of this door. Some there like the break has is like all the way up to this entrance, and so you guys better go in like guns but guns ready. Okay, get your get your guns ready, Pinkman. Uh, where it's gonna be really rough on the other side of this door. Storm again, you wanna kick the door down? No. <laughs> it's a prison. How about door. we try opening it this time? Said, no, dangerous. The, the pink manier's got to have the code, like. <clears throat> Fine. Um, the, open the, door, pink man. <laughs> he kind of gives you. He, he looks like he's gonna say something, and then he never mind. Then he walks up to the door and uh, like pushes boop 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 and opens the door for you guys. Uh, and he says, "Weapons ready." I get my cattle prod. All right, he he holds the door open for you guys. Who who heads in? I will walk in. Okay, with my uh, shield. So you walk in, shield up, ready to go. The lights are yep. kind of blinking, um, like there was some damage to maybe the the generators and the the electrical in this building. So the like security lights are on, but they they they're like dim and they blink and stuff. Um, mm-hmm. You look like you're in a lobby. Um, there's uh there's like a a wood reception desk and some couches and shit in here uh so you you like rush in ready for a fight and there's nothing going on in this room hmm. okay there must be something wrong with the with my instruments storm again is the... did you get slobber in this thing <laughs> start no. blaming the fact that my readings were wrong on you <laughs> is the computer in here operational on the desk uh why don't we find out? You gonna go over there and mess with it? I will. Okay. Yeah. You can hop the de- or flip up the little thing and go check the check the computer. Okay. I do that. 
I want to see if there's any software on that computer that I can see the security cams in this place. Because uh, it's sure. a prison. So sure, there should yeah. be that. Go, go, uh, go take a look. Uh, roll. You're gonna roll plus insight. Yeah, I will. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like um, it looks like the when the power went out, the um, the little backup came on uh, underneath. It didn't fail. So the, this computer is still on and fine. Uh, and Perfect. you're able to get in. It looks like she, uh, the receptionist was still logged in, um, mm -hmm. like when they ran out of the building. So you're good. You don't even have to try to break in. Um, and you're okay. able to sort of look through prisoner manifests. Um, it doesn't have uh, complete security footage, but you can get um, like which prisoners are in which cells uh, or supposed to be in which cells, uh, who's here. Um, and you can communicate with the other computers. So if you wanted to try to, like, get to the the other computers in this prison, you could try to do that from here. Okay. I want to try and get to the security office computers. Okay. Where the camera software would be. All right. So you uh, you know that that's going to be... Uh, further back in the in the complex like you mm -hmm. can see on the like you get a schematic of the of the prison yep. um just beyond it's near where the secure entrance is to the the where the inmates are that's where the control center is okay um and that control center has all the security cameras and it also has all the open and closed cells uh okay. switches and things like that um you with your 10 you can definitely get into that computer um to get like footage, but you can't like it's manual switches to open and close cells, so you can't do that from here. Okay. So yes, yeah, so you're able to remote into that machine and see the security footage. Uh, what are we looking for? Uh, what is in here? Do I see crocodiles with AK-47s? <laughs> sure. Uh, so you see, um, it looks like several of the cameras are gone. Like they're out. They're just not functioning. Sure. Um, <clears throat> The, the main, the, like, main entrance area is definitely looks like there was a riot. Like, there's a bunch of shit everywhere. Uh, like, there were some tables in the middle of the walkway. Th those so are knocked over. monkeys with AK-47s if there's shit everywhere. Not, not literal <laughs> shit. There's, like, there's oh, a okay. shoe and there's some, like, like, there was a riot. Like, like, there's a bed that was torn apart and is in the middle of the, um... In the middle of the thing. And uh, it looks like most of the cell doors are open. Um, okay. and But then, like, the further you get away from the broken cameras, so, like, on the left side of the building, the cells are still intact and people are in there. Their inmates are in their cells. And then on the, the, fur the further to the right of the building, like, you lose cameras and it looks more and more torn up. Uh, and you get a little bit of... Um, from one camera, you get a, enough visibility of a corner area where there's, it looks like the, um, the floor, like all of the, all of the prison type stuff is gone. And it looks like the floor is made out of this like purple cracked marble. Mm. Okay. Now I have two questions. One, Scott, are any of these people your friends? And two... Should we make getting these people out of priority? Uh, I probably know some guys. Uh, I couldn't tell you who, uh, but I think if they're in their cells, it's, it's probably, probably safer for them to safer stay than us. there. Yeah, it's true. If we let them out, then then who knows what can come and eat it. Like, they're behind actual steel bars that's probably safer than roaming the hallways and getting eaten by monkey crocodiles with guns. Okay. So. That makes sense. Well, let's face it. The reality of the situation is that these people are not the priority. The priority is to get into that break and figure out what's going on here and figure out how we're going to close She's it. Cutting That's out. more important than the people. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get any of that. Didn't get any of that. God oh, no. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I back on now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
What I said was these people are not important. What's important is that break and what's going on inside there and how we're going to figure out how to close it. So what, who, what those people are doing in their cells or running around in this prison is what's not important right now. we got to figure out what's going on in the break, figure out how to close it. Look, I, he was just worried about human life here. You got to <laughs> come on. That's not the priority. Storm may agree. Human life, not important. <laughs> well, all right. That's, I guess. Um, I think we should split the party. <laughs> no, no. I would advise against that. I would just like to lay a claim on that nice purple marble down there. I got, I got my sledgehammer. I'll break some chunks out. I could probably sell that. Countertops later, you know. <laughs> People like that. I love what. So one of the one of the main ways that uh, breakers make money is by finding like relics and shit inside, and then selling that when they get back. I love that he's interested in the marble. It's like real low. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing of value we've seen thus far. So he's gravitating. So of course he wants it. When something better yeah. comes along, I'm sure. It's oh focused. sure. Yeah. Oh, Drop yeah. that slab of marble. We... This is more important. <laughs> it's like. Well, is there a floor made of gold that we haven't hit yet? Because I'm sure our priorities... When we good. get there, yeah, for sure. Well, <laughs> Although gold's a lot harder to get out of the floor. That is true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like warm that shit up. Um, okay, so you guys... So Agent Pinkman is kind of looking at you guys bickering back and forth. And uh, Ms. Thompson, are we ready? Uh, it's Dr. Thompson. I'm sorry. Are we ready? Yes, this is our process. This is how we get ourselves ready. This is how we make decisions. We have to look at all angles and then make an informed decision. Very well. I do agree with Scott, however. We should definitely move towards that um, marble-looking area. It's obviously foreign matter and uh, has to do with the break. Okay. After you. Uh, so this where, next door here uh, is just open, <laughs> like you can get in and out of it. Um, okay. So we go between the two ferns? Yeah, so you, you move into between the two ferns, and uh, it looks like in this area, <clears throat> uh, there is there's some, there's part of the break, it has breached this, this room. Um, normally this is like a big open area, and uh, you've got like this... Uh, purple marble that's like broken in and the, like the ceiling and, and floors the the floor of the purple marble is is about um, like a foot lower than the the floor here so there's like cracks and broken floor and it you know that you, there's a floor below this so like the structure is obviously uh, damaged um, what does it say purple marble we're rich <laughs> um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so there's, like, this damaged purple uh, floor here, and then the lights are all flickery and broken, um, and you see, like, uh, some signs on the on the walls where on the left where there's stairs and an elevator. Um, and, yeah, what do you guys do? I mean, obviously I'm going to go up and t to the purple marble and take some readings. Okay. Uh, so as you get there, um, it looks like this, uh, it looks like you're, um, cause you can see the closer you get to it, you can see further into the, the area. Um, and there is, uh, it looks like someone is, uh, like pinned, like maybe they were trying to escape and this, uh, like something fell on them, like some, some bit of statuary or something, uh, is, is like on top of them and they're like screaming for help okay it's like a, a person yeah there's a person there. Not an alligator no there's a person there and they're screaming please please anybody help me so I'm, when I'll i try and help them took readings from the marble area did it seem like like the marble area itself was toxic or ah um so okay so oh, with your 12 shit. um the the marble itself isn't dangerous to you. Um oh, sweet. But the uh <laughs> You're like I run it off oh, crap. But yeah, the you don't get part. any readings like you're not gonna get like electrocuted or anything from the marble. Uh but you are getting some uh some readings as like maybe some of these plates are false. 
Hmm. Like there might be like pressure plates or something in the marble. In the purple marble? Yeah. So, uh, oh. uh, even you had said you you were heading out to go save the guy. Well, Scott did, but, but yeah, Scott I was going to join yeah. him. Okay, so as you kind of like take a step off from the the regular four out of the purple, I go, wait. I there's, freeze. There's there's pressure plates in the floor. I don't know which ones are safe to step on yet. We might fall through into the into the break, or the or to the lower floors of the prison. So I'll start. Okay. I'll that's, I'll that's pass. A good call. I'll pass you my cattle prod, and tell okay. you to touch the floor before you step on it, so you don't fall through. Okay. Uh, okay, so you're walking around like poking the floor. Yeah, we're tapping where we're walking, and yeah. Scott's gonna follow me. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So Evan, you're. It looks like you're in the lead. So you're gonna want to do. Uh, you're gonna want to roll insight. Uh, to try to see if there's. You can. You know. Find the. The messed up plates. Sure. That's what we're gonna do. All the while, this person is screaming like, "Please, please, my leg is trapped." Yeah, we're trying to make our way towards. Yeah, him. listen, <laughs> buddy. Safety first. Yeah, <laughs> we're coming. <laughs> Safety first. What are you doing? Why are you taking so long? Please. You don't want this purple Sh floor to collapse out from under you, so you just quiet down over there. <laughs> All right. Are you going to uh, even roll yet? Oh, I didn't know. What do you want me to roll? Uh, insight. Sorry. That's what we were waiting for. That's my jam. All right. Bam. Uh, so, so you're hitting the floor with these cattle prods, and uh, and you catch one, and it feel it like the cattle prod, like zaps, like maybe this was metal and painted or something like that, mm -hmm. and you hear like a mechanism underneath it break. Okay. Uh, and like now looking at it, you can see like oh this was a pressure plate, and there's uh there are these like statues in this area. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. that look like they are, like, set to fall if someone steps on that pressure plate. Oh, and it sounds like it broke it? Like, it's yeah, like, zapping you, you, it like, it zapped it? it, and, like, you heard, like, a spring or something go, bang, and, like, break. Okay. Because it's a zappy cattle prod. Okay. Um, how, how far are we from this guy? Uh, just a few more feet. Like, you can get to him now. You're pretty sure that okay. that's, like... We're, I'm going to be even more careful about zapping every square. <laughs> okay, so now you're, like... Now that I know what it can do. You're, like, zapping every square. Um, <clears throat> you make your way over to the, 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 the guy under the, under the statue. And, mm -hmm. um, they're like, please, please help me. And it looks like, um, it looks like they were coming out of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Uh... And, or actually, wait, there was a bathroom on this side? No, I'm sorry. They were coming out of, uh, like, an office and this, like, to get to run. And this, like, half a statue that was, like, sheared in where the break happened, like, just fell on them. Because it wasn't, like, secured by the wall anymore. Yeah. What should have had a cattle prod. A of? Hmm? What is it a statue of? Like Oh, uh, it is a statue of a, it looks like a woman. Um, but the head is like a big snake. Good. Oh, yeah. oh, wonderful. That's random. Uh, so yeah, but it's like only half of it. So like you get, but like it has the big, um, like cobra thing where the head would be. And then it's just like a woman's form, uh, made out of the Lady same, like, Serpentor. yeah, made out of the same purple marble. Um, and then the, the person is like, my leg, my leg. Shush, I'm going to zap you and drag you. <laughs> okay, okay, whatever. Just help. I'll I'll try and lift the statue piece off, like see if I can shift it. Yeah, uh, make a prowess check. <clears throat> sure. Oof. Oh, this guy's <laughs> dead. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you, so you, you, you lift it <clears throat> and you get it up just enough and, and like you're making that face and they're like oh my leg and you're like 
fucking move. <laughs> and so they start to try to like scrabble away. Uh, and you hear this like scuttling, scratching sound coming towards you. But you know, if you let go, it's going to make their leg worse. So, like, do you stand there and hold this thing while they try to scramble out? Or do you, like, drop it and get away from whatever this scratching sound is? Oh, damn. Um, what is that? What, somebody, what is that? Something's coming here. Do you keep it up? <laughs> okay, so they, they manage to, like, eke their way out just as this thing, like, slams into the side of you. And you, you don't really get a good look at it. It's sort of like, it doesn't really slam into you as much as it like runs up your leg and like claws up you and starts like biting at you. <laughs> 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 so, so it's, it's trying to bite your face. Um, my face it came all the way up my body. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going for like the leg or the hip. No, it's like, it like oh. scrabbled up and it's like trying to bite at you and you, like you look over and there's like this lizard thing like biting at you. So it's going to it's going to bite your face. Uh, do you want to <laughs> angry do you, Tegu? Do you want to let it do that? No, I would prefer not. Uh, why don't you roll but... resolve and see if you can like sh get, get this thing off of you? Uh, real quick, do I have to add the modifier myself? Uh, it should be my... in your sheet. Let's check your sheet. So you have three in resolve, right? Yeah. So it yeah. should when you click it, it'll roll. It'll add the three. But if you had like a bonus or a negative for some reason, that's when you would. Oh, okay. Rock on, rock on. Yeah. Oh. Oh man. All right. So you this thing like comes up your side, and you just do like a very practiced like roll and get the foot like get the fuck off like it just oh, like hell no <laughs> <laughs> this get that shit out of here so you like you swat it away it rolls across the floor and like gets up and you get a good look at it it's it looks like an alligator that stood up like it's smaller than it like than you would expect an alligator to be but it's standing on its hind legs it's got these little claw arms and and like this annoying looking bitey face that looks like an alligator's face um as a as a, as a breaker someone who goes into breaks you might recognize this as a kobold it it looks at you like it's about to spring forward and then its foot like sinks into one of those pressure plates and this statue like crumbles and falls crushing it that's right i am not gonna end up as lizard man shit today <laughs> Uh, and you start to hear like, like snarling and uh, like weird growling sounds uh, coming from down the further into this complex. It looks like uh, in this in this area it, there are some walls, so that thing came around a corner. So you don't have good vision on whatever's down that way, and there's no light. We should go back. <laughs> well. So, well, we, the whole reason we're here is to fight whatever's down there. Yeah, but they're, we're, uh, half our party is way back over there. I mean, we watched... Yeah, but they can walk up to us now. You cleared the path. <laughs> How far away from them are we actually, like... So we're standing, I don't know, like, like, on the edge. 30, 40 feet. So we can still see them. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's dark, but the light from this room is casting enough of a... You can see into this area. But the... In, like, in where they are, there's some, like, walls and corners and things. And there, there's obviously more complex or dungeon or whatever behind behind them okay so while he was being attacked uh i i pulled out uh some science some some my tablet mm -hmm. is the word i was looking for and started taking like notes on what was attacking him and what it looked like and <laughs> its movement pattern and uh, you know because this is our first encounter with a creature from this break so obviously i would be doing science yeah so you're um, recording it and then uh, I, I, I look at Storm again and go, I guess we better go in now. Mm. So okay. I'm, I'm going to try to follow the path that I watched them walk through. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Agent Pinkman, so like, checks his weapon on safeties and follows behind you. As we go past the uh, the fallen kobold, uh, Storm again's going to lean over and kind of sniff at it and give it a little lick. His own, his own type of science. Mm-hmm. 
Um, your this... scientific uh, instrument is your tongue. Yeah. Okay. Nose yeah. Of my tongue. Um, so Stormy, Stormy would know that these, uh, these creatures are, uh, they're not a, usually a problem on their own, but they come in packs. So yeah. if there's one, there's many. Mm-hmm. Many, many of these little small lizard, many more around corner, probably in the back there hiding in the shadow of. So there's going to be there's going to be more of these creatures. Is what oh, you're many much more, yes. So they travel in packs, or a herd. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know how intelligent they are? Oh, not not as smart as Stormageddon, no. No. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Very dumb. Probably as smart as even. Probably Maybe. as smart as even. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll look over at Scott. Scott, you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I don't want it to eat my face. <laughs> wait, wait, they go for the face. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. Um, they don't so go this, for the easy targets. This this guy that you freed, his like legs look crushed, and he's like, uh, 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 like towards the exit, just like crawling away because he can't really walk. Oh, good. Yes, please, yeah. uh, please head out. See and, yourself uh, out. Some... And uh, <laughs> you'll find Someone. a medical tent uh, when you get outside the perimeter. Well, we somebody could radio for like a paramedic. If you have a radio. <laughs> like... Oh, yes, I, I believe we do, Evan. I hand the radio over to Scott. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so hey, up there, there's uh there's a guy down here with uh, legs. Been yeah. smashed. He oh. needs some help, medical help. Come on, you know, come and get him. It's all clear up to that guy. Just don't go past where you find the man with broken legs. <laughs> uh, so you get back. Uh, Should we tell them we we did not break his legs? They were like that yeah, when we got yeah, here. We found him with the broken legs. We didn't break this guy's legs. He's okay. He's a good guy. He's like crying and crawling. Just, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, um, I'll make sure to help him to get to the edge of the purple. Like, the edge, okay. So he doesn't have to climb up that step. Yeah. So you get him out uh, and like prop him up somewhere. And the you get a call back from the radio saying that they'll send in a couple EMTs. Um, up to that point, because you said it was clear up to there. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So uh, what do you guys do? Uh, I think we must head further into the breach. Okay. Um, you see, off to your left, there is a there is the control station. If you wanted to get more of a look at the thing, um, or you can head further into the actual uh, dungeon complex. Uh, Evan, do you think we should check out the uh, control center? Mm. I'm sorry, what's that? Do you think we should check out the control center? Yeah. There might be cameras working in there, too, so we can kind of scout out the rest of the uh, the facility. Okay. Uh, you take the lead with the stick, and we'll follow. Okay. I'll hold up my shield, and we'll start tapping again. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, so you guys make your way over to um, over to the control area. It's it's actually back towards the that main lobby area. Um and there's, if you, like, right here. Oh, okay. Um, there's, that's, like, the control center. Um, so that, you get a, a better view of all the cameras from here. Um, I'm going to zoom out because you guys have a pretty good idea. You're not, you're not sure what's in the breaks, but you can tell where they are compared to compared to everything else. Um, so there's, there's a, a big chunk of this uh, building from here back to the back corner is all like covered with this break. Uh, and then there's another bit, um, in the bottom right corner, uh, that's sort of taking, taking up a big chunk of the, the place. Okay. Do we, uh, even do you see anyone else that you feel like we should, uh, investigate before we move further into the break? No. Any more I don't injured? think so. Um, do we hear anyone else screaming? Because they might be in a room somewhere, but is anyone calling out for help or anything like that from here that we can hear? 
Uh, you're not you're not hearing any cries for help other than my dog um, from right here. Uh, let's see. For some reason, all of my thing just like got weird. I'm gonna switch screens and switch back. Look, it's toilets. What is going on? Is there supposed to be something up there? Uh, yeah. Let me see. So the the map just like bugged out on me. I'm gonna refresh this page. That's funny because ours looks fine. Yeah. So as we uh, start walking forward, <clears throat> um, Storm again is gonna dig into his heavy toolkit and pull out a sledgehammer. Okay. <laughs> have that on his shoulder. <clears throat> yeah. Storm again's weapon, big sledgehammer. <laughs> Are, I mean, do we still hear that scratching sound, or or like things moving up ahead? Uh, so you you hear the the scratching sound is um ha, like has gone away. Um, so there's nothing there's nothing really moving. Like you don't hear anything moving up ahead. So whatever it is, either got quiet or uh, is is doing its own thing. We scared them off with the smashing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Probably not. They're probably right there waiting. Yeah, they're just quietly sitting I'm gonna, on the other side. I'm totally going to cover that hallway, though. Okay. Like, I'm going to keep watching that. Well, they can mess around with the technology. <laughs> Watch over there. All that tech stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you... Uh, all right, so you make your way into the... You're, you're going further into the breach, yeah? Yes. Okay, yeah. I, I'm going to take a very quick break and <laughs> see what's wrong with our own version of Storm again. Okay. Uh, all right, so yeah, so who's taking the lead? I think Ethan was right. Into the break. Yeah. Uh, one with the shield. Yeah. Okay, I'll, so, I'll, so uh, even... I'll, yeah, I'll just hold the shield up and hide behind it. All right, so it's, it's really dark in front of you. Are you, like, busting out a flashlight or, like, you just got your cell phone out? Like, what are you doing? Well, if he holds the shield. I'll I'll break out. Probably in my bag of tools, I've got one of those little LED work lights. Oh yeah, cool. Okay, so you bust that out. So you got some vision over the over the thing. Um, as you as you make make your way up to, there's like a corner and a long hallway, um, with uh like s snake sort of patterns on the walls. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, like you, you peek around the corner and you shine the light down there and you don't really see anything other than the like this long hallway and then it obviously goes left or right. So like T's at the end. Okay. Uh, you uh, make your, what do you guys do? Right hand rule. Um, but I I I will tell Scott to check left first and then we'll check right. So we're gonna go right. Okay. So you guys you guys make your way down. Um, down this hallway, uh, the uh, let me see. I think Scott, as you as you pass, so like as the the light passes, you you feel like in the dark. The snake patterns look like they move, but when you shine the light, they're still. Oh, people pay good for that. That's <laughs> that's quality construction right there. <laughs> for sure so everybody keep an eye out for the walls what what do you mean they seem all what's that word venticulated Ven yeah you know what I'm talking about <laughs> like this they get all movie woozy as you're walking by but you look right at them everything's normal Okay. It's not yeah. a not a good hallway to be high. Just Are saying. we near one of the 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 etchings in the wall? Yeah, it's a it's like a ten foot hallway. So like zap, you, can, you just zap the the thing. <laughs> um, sure, roll prowess. Okay, uh, so you you like zap the wall where one of the snakes is. And um, this snake, like, starts to, like, writhe and, and shake like it's being electrocuted. Mm -hmm. um, 
but the other snakes that were like the other snake paintings like jump out oh, Jesus. and attack all of you um oh what the hell is this so uh you're all gonna take a d6 um damage um unless you want to try to get out of the way of that uh here i'll roll it we all oops take i rolled it twice five damage yeah five damage um Man. minus armor right yeah yeah well, uh, reduced by armor kit you you mentioned possibly trying to get out of the way of that <laughs> i'm gonna try that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could try to get out of the way of that. What is that? Is that a prowess? Resolve. Oh, I'm good at that. I could do that. Um, oh, Here I forgot go. to mention, at any time, um, if you want to add a d6 to a roll, you can spend a strain. Um, you guys should have about, you guys should have three strain. Um, and you spend it after you roll to add another d6. But you can only spend one per roll. Mm. And it can be any roll, like damage, get out of the way. So, so what do our numbers mean? Uh, let's see. So seven is, is not going to do it. You're going to take that damage. Um, so actually, uh, I think the seven to eight, you're either going to take some damage or you're going to take that five or you're going to, um, like, you're going to, you're going to lose something. Like something, some piece of gear that you brought with you, like that's what they're going to bite into or you're going to smash it when you fall to the ground to get out of the way. Um, mm -hmm. So you either lose like a, a piece of gear that you brought, or you're gonna take that thing. Mm -hmm. Scott, mm -hmm. on the other hand, got a ten, uh, and That's just right. like yeah, Thank you, Scott. like you shine the light at the thing right as it comes at you, and it turns back to stone, like right in front of you, and just falls and crumbles. Oh, oh, use the lights. Get some. Get your lights. Shine everything. Make the shininess. Make, make <laughs> the shine. All over this. They don't like the light. While this is going on, I am literally just pushing this cattle prod into the thing. Just zap, I'm, just, I'm just, holding just, this thing onto the snake. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely it's that was it. Like the the okay. whatever was in the thing is gone. Um, the like snakes that jumped out, like the whole they they like sort of fall to the ground. There are snakes on the ground um, now, like in this area, and they're sort of like shh, shh, doing that thing. What do you guys do? So when the uh, when the initial snake popped out of the wall, yeah. and attacked, uh, when it when it leapt at Storm again because he was walking with the sledgehammer looking at the scanner, mm -hmm. uh, because of his superior feline reflexes, when that snake leapt at him, he just smashed it in the face with the scanner. Oh, and it okay. Broke his, broke his scanner. So oh, the no. the tricorder is gone. His tricorder. Yeah. He's like ah, throw it on the floor. All right. Um, what are you guys going to do about these snakes? Uh, well, I'm going to pull out a flashlight from my pack and point it at them and make them stop. Okay. So when you, when you shine the flashlight on it, it turns them back to stone. Um, but they're outside of their painting or they're outside of their like relief. Mm -hmm. And so they just sort of like break apart. Uh, but you like try to flash it at them. Um, that's, that's easy enough. Like you guys swing all your, all your lights around, uh, and ma manage to get down to the end of the hall. Uh, I definitely pick up a chunk of one of the, the snakes. Sure. And stick it in my bag. Mm-hmm. To do research. So you get, there. you get like the head or just like a, a middle bit? Uh, definitely a head. Okay. Snake head. So you're like this stone snake head. Yeah. Uh, it's made out of this, this like. That same like purple marble stuff. Yeah. I definitely Possibly. take a snake head and put it in my my bag to do science to later. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. So you have that in your bag. Um, you guys continue moving down the hallway. Um, who's bringing up the rear? Is it Stormy? Um, um, probably. It's either me or Stormy. Or Pinkman. Oh, Pinkman. oh Pinkman's probably back there. Pinkman's back there. Pinkman. Okay. Pinkman. Um, Pinkman. Pink man. Um, so you, uh, like, Pinkman was standing back enough. Like, he's sort of giving you guys a little bit of uh, distance. Like, you can, so you can get in and move around. Mm -hmm. um, Stormy, when you look back to make sure he's okay, you see that he had pulled out a little, like, he's got, like, some notes or something. Or, like, a piece of paper. And he's, like, checking it. And then he puts it back in his pocket. 
uh, and like looks back at you and says, "All clear." Yes. Yes. All right. Onward. Okay. So we yeah. we we keep moving forward very carefully. Okay. Uh, I'm being a lot more diligent about looking at the walls with my flashlight <laughs> and actually paying attention to what's going on around us. Uh, it looks like the the like the next hallway doesn't have any of that uh, any of that art or anything like that on the walls. Okay. Um, make a make an insight check though, and let's see. Eleven. Um, so as you're like diligently checking all of the walls, you do see um, you see a little like clawed foot sticking out around a corner from behind where like from the left side. Okay. So I kind of stop and like grab Scott because he's in front of me, mm-hmm. and then I I like flash my light over there and point like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't worry. I'm confident that there's not going to be any kind of an ambush in this hallway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't happen at all. <laughs> tell, tell even. I will in a second Once when he can, can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his headphones hey. in. Hey, so even, I, I am 100% sure... There's not going to be any of those little alligator dudes up ahead around this little corner. I do and not believe you. I point the point the light like, shh. And, and you, you can see, see a at, little. Yeah, there's like a little alligator foot sticking out of, oh. uh, of, from around a corner off to the zap! left. <laughs> do you like run up and try to zap the foot? No, I'm just going to zap the foot. No, it's further away. Like it, yeah. it's not like oh, right next. It's a ways up. It's a way, yeah. It's like it, you got to the T, and you you said you were going right. So like if you turned right a little bit, she uh, Melody noticed off to the left someone like that little foot, back around a corner, like maybe ten feet back, on the left side. Oh, I'm so tempted to see for that corner. <laughs> Give me back my stick. So uh, Storm again's gonna kind of lean over towards Melody and be like. Whispering what what Storm again thinks is whispering is still quite loud. <laughs> I hand Why? Melody back her prod and then I pull out my C4. Why is he saying there's no ambush? There's a foot sticking out. You can plainly see it. Also, oh. the you... pink man keeps looking at a paper. What? Okay. Well, we keep saying there's not going to be an ambush, so that the ambush doesn't know that we know it's coming. Like, I actually whisper in a real whisper to him. <laughs> and, then, and then I said, what, what, what paper? In his pocket. Pink man, show us your paper. I'll turn around and look at Pinkman. What is he talking about? I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. Well, Stormageddon is incapable of lying, so what's the piece of paper? It's, it's nothing. Don't we have better things to do in here than... If you have more intel about what's going on in here, we need to know. It has nothing to do with the break. I don't trust you. That's fine. I don't trust you. But we should move on. Hey, listen there, pink man. You don't mess with the cat. Cat knows what's going on. He says you're looking at a paper. You're looking at a paper. Why are you looking at the paper when we're down here? It is true. I have enhanced senses. Far mm. superior to humans. Just checking on cell manifest. That's all. Cell manifest? Yes. Are you looking for someone in particular in here? Yeah, who, who down here? Sounds to me like you have a little mission to specifically rescue someone down here that you're not... There is a prisoner which I am to see extracted. Who? And why? They got a lot of money? <laughs> uh, that is classified. Classified? We're standing in the middle of a break. What do you think is, is like... Uh, this whole fucking room is classified! I'm pretty sure most people know about breaks. 
Yeah, but they don't know about what goes on inside them. That's fine. It doesn't affect our mission. You're here well, to look. If we break. find this guy, we're we're splitting the. <laughs> just just say. If a reward Storm is and what you're concerned with, Melody, you will zap receive. Him. <laughs> no. Storm again, an employ tactic. A... He learned long ago from good man, strong man. We kill everyone until he tell us not to. <laughs> it might be a little extreme, but I will go for that. Look, we don't need to result to any type of violence here. This is ridiculous. You might want to call off your cat. It's not my cat. He's just a cat. And uh, we don't need to result to violence here. Just read us into the situation so we're fully informed when we come to... I mean, is this person violent? Should we be no. worried about their reaction to us being in here? You do not have to worry about them, no. This is ridiculous. Well, I cannot work so under this, these conditions. We could this is not Stormageddon's him. mom. Stormageddon's always... mom, strong warrior. Shoot off many legs. Since this guy isn't being forthcoming, we could always just send him back to his, uh, his boss and just carry on without him. And not worry well, about his mission at all. I, I, I don't think it's a problem, but I'm telling you, we find this guy, we getting something out of it. You will be compensated. See, that's how you do it, people. <laughs> but you how you get into the big is, leagues. He is not going to interfere with our purpose here. I guarantee he will be very happy to be rescued. I don't know about what rescue. if we release everyone, and eventually your men come out. Or he'll get eaten up by the freaking gator people that are not around the corner. Um, while you taunt these creatures, uh, there are actual lives at stake. Yeah, mine. Should we move forward? <clears throat> yes, this is... Cobalt lives not have value. This is pointless. Let's keep moving forward. <laughs> Cobalt lives not have value. Uh, are we going to take care of this... Uh... Friend? Yeah. Uh, see, yeah. So you guys look back and the foot is gone. Well, shit. But we know where it was. Yeah. Well, we know there's something behind us. Do we want to go back that way or keep moving forward? Well, I think we should go towards where we know something bad is. Take care of it. So it doesn't come up and bite us in the ass, literally. Yeah, I agree. Right. So C four? No, not every situation is solved by C four. But some situations are, Melody. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty true. <laughs> That's true. You know, you you are right. Um, why don't we go ahead and move that way, and you go first? That way, uh, we stay out of the way of your C four if that's <laughs> the solution to this problem. Maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe you could make little little snacks out of it. Little, make it into little snack-looking things, and throw it down there, and be like, "Oh, someone left a bunch of snacks," and see <laughs> if they eat it, and then you can push the button. Mm. That's um, not how C4 works. <laughs> it's not like when you try to give but a, I like where your a head's dog at. a pill, and you like wrap it in like bread or or meat or something. You can't just wrap the well, C4. In food it's, and then leave it out. It's a malleable clay, right? Like, yeah, but it requires a charge to detonate. If it's separated, yeah, but from you just yeah, exactly. Like you just put it in the thing and though. The... If we have them all eat the Z four and then you shock them with the pod, like, I feel like you'd have to be a little too close for that when the Z four yeah. goes off. But it would be way more that, fun. Yeah, that was just a small amount of C four. Mm-hmm. Right. That's true. <laughs> you know what? We're wasting time here. Let's keep moving. Uh, so do you guys go left towards the where the ambush was? Yeah. Or, yes. Yes. Okay. We're ready. We're ready uh, for this. Cool. So you go you go to the left, um, and, like, you make your way around the corner, and it looks like it opens uh, into a larger, like, chamber. Um, inside there is a... Uh, it looks like it like steps down into like a little sunken area, um, but on the back side, 
Um, there is obviously half the room is missing, and you can see cells. Are there any? Is there any movement in the cells? I kind of flash my light around to see if anybody comes to the bars. Uh, it looks like most of these cells are open. Okay. Um, the cells closer to the breaks uh, ended up like malfunctioning and opening. Right. Um, well, what happened you, to the uh, What happened to the foot that was sticking around the corner? Did we not go that far down? It no, ran away. We, we, yeah, we went that way and it's gone. Uh, so there wasn't just like a disembodied foot sitting there on the floor. <laughs> no, it wasn't just a disembodied foot. Uh, whatever it the was. The ultimate cobalt <laughs> trap. They cut off their own foot and leave it there to lure you in. <laughs> Uh, whatever it was, they, they definitely ran away. Um, and the, yeah, so you're, you're in this room, there's this, like, sunken area. In the center of the sunken area, it looks like there's, uh, like a, like a pedestal with some, something shiny on it. Um, and then off to the right, there's, uh, another exit from this room. Scott, stop. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look, we went the right way. Hold on, don't, don't touch it. Take some readings. Okay. Um, see, so what do you, what do you, you just start checking your thing to see if what, it's dangerous or? Yes, I'm, I'm, uh, scanning for the energy levels and the, uh, polarity of the energy matrix that is being cast from off of this item. Okay, sure. Roll those insights. Science words. <laughs> Fuck. Oof. Um. It's a bad day to be a scientist. Man. Yeah. Uh, Your science this, is wrong. This, Breach is, is fucking up my instruments here, guys. Um, so I think, so you have to move in a little bit to, yep. to like, get your, so you're, you're doing your readings, and it's, like, it's acting kind of weird, um, and it's, it's like, making, you like, you, you just sort of subconsciously, or unconsciously just move closer to the item to, like, get a better reading. I'm getting an interference. I need to move closer. Yeah, so you're, you're like, moving in, and uh, as soon as you cross the threshold into the room, the, um, this, like, gate falls. <laughs> Like cutting you off. In front or behind? Oh you? damn! So it. you're on the you're on the inside of this room, and they're on the outside. Fuck. Uh, and then you start to hear like mm -hmm. sounds. Uh, yeah, that's this not looks good. like the C four situation. Yeah, I was about to say you you liking that C four now, aren't you? <laughs> uh, where am I hearing the noise coming from? Uh, so you look around. Yeah. Uh, so you look to Watch your right, and there is uh like this one of those things like stand like he's like dug into the wall and he's there and he like lunges at you stick so the <laughs> the gate that slammed closed behind her what does this gate look like is it just like a like a portcullis type thing is it yeah yeah like it's like a bars? it's like a metal gate um it, you can get your hands through it okay so you can just toss the c4 into the room <laughs> with yeah with uh, melody yes <laughs> um and I so, was and kind this of thing like, using it on the gate, not trying <laughs> to blow up the gate. Yeah. I like that, but I got <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could, you could definitely use C4 on the gate, or you could try to lift it. It looks like, I don't know, it didn't make like a <laughs> clink sound when it landed. Um, but this thing like jumps at you. All right, I start trying to fend it off with my stabby stick. Okay, uh, roll resolve. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so you there manage you to like parry it, right? So you get your you get your cattle prod up, and it's like little claw hand, or actually probably its mouth, right? Like bites onto your cattle prod, and you you've got Shock. it. Uh, well, it's not on the tip end, oh. right? Like you you it like, yeah, like hit the side, and so now you're like holding it back. Yeah. Uh, but you you're keeping it at bay, um, and you notice there's others behind you. Like other ones were like hiding, and they, now they're coming up behind you, like sort of swarming you. Um, what does the rest of you guys do? gonna get out of the way well you're out of the way you're on the inevitable. other side of the gate no 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 out of out of the way of the inevitable explosion that's about to happen oh. <laughs> are you going to explode the gate open or should we just how much c4 do you have so you're while, muted oh he's you're eating well while, while they're just i have three c4 while they're back there discussing what they should do uh <laughs> i i, yeah, I well, i'm going to start using this weird uh, this weird feeling that I get sometimes that starts to like draw on the electronic energy that's around me mm -hmm. it starts to pull into me and then kind of in like an EMP style like shoots out of me yeah in like a, a circle and just kind of sh like hits and shocks everything around me okay so it's like an electrical 
zap to everything yeah. near you. I'm, I'm using my arcane skill. Yeah, yeah. By the way, all the C4 on my back backpack is wrapped in um, a retro, <laughs> like... It's like, while she says this, <laughs> just in case. She us. All right. Yeah. You've got a Faraday cage so, backpack. So <laughs> just so just to make sure, you are going to pull electrical energy into your body. Yes. And then try to channel it back at all of these uh, yes. these little alligator men. Yes. I'm I'm going to suck yeah, in dude, all shock of the Nova. energy. It's a thing. And then yeah, and then basically yeah, shock Nova. Okay. Uh, cool. So, um, go ahead and roll. Let's see. What do we make you roll for for wizardry? Yeah. What is what is the uh, um wizardry powers? You know, let's let's have you roll resolve. Sure. Because you've got to like you you have to sort of like hold on to all this energy for a little while. Cool. Eight. Okay. So you manage you manage to resist the. Do you want? Hey, you have a strain. Oh, you can you can spend a strain to roll uh, an extra d six and add it. Okay, how do I do that? Is it slash roll? Uh, yeah, or you, there's a, well, I have some macros you can turn on. Um, if you want to go into the, uh, there's like a, yeah, that works too. <laughs> oh, a six, snap. all right. Oh, snap. <clears throat> okay, so you spend a strain and it goes from a, a moderate success, like a, a mixed success to a critical. Yeah. So you pull all of this energy into your body and oh. like shunt it out like into everything around you. Flashlights dim. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do uh, go ahead and do two d six damage. Okay, so uh, several of these things get just like electrocuted and thrown back away from you, um, and the. Uh, what are we typing? Okay. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah. So all this energy like come, like gets pulled into your body, and then poof, it's like shoots out. All the things get like thrown back away from you and electrocuted. The one that was like holding onto your thing is toast, um, as it was like channeled through your cattle prod. Yeah. Um, and the was anybody touching the gate? Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> there's like there's like a. Bzzz, Against the the gate, as this like electrical energy runs through it. Had you put the C four on yet? No, I had not. Okay. <laughs> I was arguing. That's what I said while they were arguing about what to do. Yeah, she she literally said while they're deciding what we're doing, she's yeah. doing the nova. Okay. Uh, and so like several of these things have been knocked back, but like you get it like now that they've fallen from like the ceiling and the walls from this, you you see that there's several of them, um, and like but you've you've definitely trimmed their numbers quite a bit. I feel like I use this moment to kind of get myself into a better position, like to turn around and like actually have my cattle prod ready. And like, I got the one off of me and I knocked out a couple or stunned a few, like, Oh yeah. I turn around and I'm like ready to actually take them on now. Okay. So you, you like, you're in a better defensive position. These yeah. things are like trying to get back up cause you stunned them for a bit. Um, what's everybody doing in the hall after just seeing all that? Take my sledgehammer and just, smash the gate with it okay uh make a prowess roll it's technically it's a heavy tool hmm? <laughs> it's a heavy tool hmm. nope oof um all right so i think it probably breaks um it probably bends some of the metal and then gets stuck so like oh. now it's like stuck in the in the gate like, you broke through a couple of bars, but, like, the bars you broke bent and, like, mangled around it, and now it's, like, stuck in there, and you have to rip it back out. Okay. Um, what's everybody else doing? Well, uh, I still don't want to get near the gate, because I'm assuming <laughs> it's about to blow up. <laughs> so Stormy's hammer is stuck in it. there's, like, an electrical storm on the other side, and I'm like, what the, what is this? <laughs> Uh, I am just taking a defensive position and hoping that these guys get through that gate faster. I'm yelling I'm yelling at Melody to get away from the gate. Oh yeah, I'm definitely backing up. And then I'm going to throw the C4 at the um, at the gate and then as soon as it gets close to the gate, I'm triggering. 
with Stormageddon stuck to the gate? What? Well, his hammer, hammer stuck, stuck in the gate. Did yeah, Stormageddon hammer leave his hammer and get back? Do you say get away from the gate? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it's backs up. Just leave the hammer wedged in the gate. Okay. When you yell for us to get away from the gate, I'm going to try to jump into one of those open cells. Okay, so you're going to like make a break for it to the other side and yeah. get in the cell? Okay. Um, all right, let's see. So I think C4 is going to be... Um, well, it definitely takes out the gate. Uh, roll... Let's see, what, where's the damage on C4? Insight, obviously. <laughs> Roll prowess, because you're, you're like, it. throwing the C4. Don't miss. Eight, okay. <laughs> so that is, a, that is a mixed success. So there's a chance that you might take some, take some like, splash damage from this. Do you want to spend well, a screen? I'm trying to figure and... out how to D6 thing. Yeah. Slash roll... Space D6. Okay. So now it is... uh, That's a... What is it? A 13? Uh, So yeah. So a 12 or higher is a critical success. So you you pull off just enough C4. uh, Or one of your your uses of it. And it hits in such a way that it... Like most of the blast is taken by the wall. So like it takes out a chunk of the wall right there. And the gate sort of swings wide this way and falls open, mm-hmm. um, but it doesn't damage any of your friends. A couple of the uh, a couple of the kobolds that were like in the way get like blown to bits, uh, and it looks like whatever's left of them. There's like maybe t- two or three of them still uh, still in there, not dead or stunned. Uh, since they're not standing right next to any of my friends, I'm going to attempt to shoot a kobold with my 38. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll prowess. Mouthy little bastards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so you like it's like it had gotten up sort of like in your grill, and um, so you go to shoot at it. And it's going to, like, the bullet from your thirty eight is going to go th- clean through this thing. Uh, but it's going to hit whatever was on that pedestal. Oh, damn it. So, so the, like, you, you shoot it and this, like, the bullet goes through, hits whatever was on that pedestal. And it, like, clatters to the ground on the other side. Mm. Does it sound metal when it hits the ground? Yeah, it sounds metal. All right, then we could probably still melt it down for something. <laughs> does anything happen when the uh, item falls off the pedestal? Like, does the room start filling with lava or snakes or something? Uh, no, nope, you, you don't. You don't notice lava any. Snakes. You don't notice any lava snakes. Um, you do. Uh, like the the other kobold sort of like looks at you and looks at the gun in your hand and, like, decides to run for it and just, like, books it. But he runs into the cell area. Like, he runs oh, away from the thing. So this, like, cobalt is coming up behind you, Melody. Oh, shit. Uh, do I hear it running up behind me? Uh, yeah. Okay, then I would turn in shock. Okay, roll it. It's obviously an insight roll. Definitely. Oh, it's prowess, actually, oh, not resolve. It? Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Nice. That's better. Okay. So uh, so you turned to shock it, but it had, like, grabbed your arm by the time the cattle prod gets there. And okay. so you get, like, a little bit of a zap. Uh, and so you're going to take a D3 of damage. What? What So you take one. I have armor one. Okay. So you're fine. So it, like, this, you oh, get, like, a... for physical attacks. Oh, yeah, so electric probably wouldn't do it. So you, you take one as it, like, ah, poof, like, touched a, a live wire or something. Okay. Um, all right. So you guys are, you, like, you're you're in this cell, and this thing comes in, and you hear this, like, huh, uh, uh, like, sound behind you. Uh, Turn and look. Uh, in, for Melody. Okay. Uh, I will, I will 
will turn and look after I get over being shockied. Okay. Uh, so there is a, um, it looks like a guard. Okay. And he is attempting to lift, like, he's, he's like, holding a baton up. Like, he's, uh, like, trying to, like, block whatever that thing was. And then he just, uh. So is, is there something attacking him? Or? No. Oh, okay. No, like, you, you, your noise, like, startled him. And then he saw this thing coming. And he's, like, trying to oh. protect himself. So I, I will go over and, like, crouch down next to him. Okay. Uh, sir, are you injured? Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, and he, like, grabs at his head. You seem, you seem to have some type of, of head cranial <coughs> injury. Uh, let me see if I can help. And I pull out my first aid kit. Okay. And I look at his head and I, like, wrap it in one of those big white bandages. <laughs> sure. Right? Because that's how you fix head wounds. Yeah, definitely. Um, and and then I give him an aspirin and some water. Okay. <laughs> for um, his headache. So uh, so yes, yeah, so you give him an aspirin water. Make a um insight roll to try to like help this guy out. Oh sure, oh, yeah. So it roll well. it looks like he just took like a a really hard hit to the head and it knocked him out. Right. Um, so he's probably gonna be fine. He might have a concussion. Is he awake? Yeah, he's awake now. What is your name, sir? Uh, um, Harrison. Her- Harrison. Harrison. Uh, Harrison Sump. Are you? Do you? Are you? Do you oh. work here? You look like you're. You may be a, a guard of some type. Yeah, there was a there was a riot and I got knocked out. You're inside of a break. A what? A, a break. You know how they open. No, not here in a prison. That's silly. Why would that happen? They, I mean, they open anywhere. That's that's how this works. I mean, I I seen that. I seen him on the on TV, but like, that shit's real. Uh, well, very real, sir. And you are currently inside one. Uh. Okay. Uh, hey, Pinkman. He he like moves over, like checking the hallway and looking out. Yes. Uh, is this the guy you're looking for? Uh, no. I am not here for a guard. But, uh, if he's injured, we should get him to safety. Uh, I agree. But I don't also think we should drag him all the way to the to the front again. Uh, do you think we could get those EMTs to come in this far? I doubt it. Okay. Uh, well, we could drag him back to the T. He sort of, like, uh, he sort of sits up and he says, no, no. No, I'm okay. I'm I'm okay. I can. I can I can help. You, sir, you have a head injury. Yeah, it's fine. It's just a little head injury. Like I just got a bump, you know. Just I just took a hit. Some one of the inmates knocked me out or something. Have you seen any uh, inmates recently? Well, I mean, no. I've been knocked out. They're, uh, they I just all. Didn't know how long you've been awake. Is the is a is the prison secure? Did anybody escape? Yes. No. People escaped? Yes. Yes, probably. Yes, people escaped. Yes, there have been some escapes. Oh, At least great. a few. All right. Um, no, I'll, I'll, I'll stay with you. I'll stay with you. Uh, okay, just uh, stay on You my just way. follow this wall and you go back out front and you tell people what you saw. No, no, I can, I can, I can stay. I can help. Uh, you I could just... help the most by getting out the way. I think you should listen to Scott. Scott Harrison. Harrison Scott. Listen, I. Hold on. And he like he looks around. Um, he says, "The armory's just this way." Ah, oh, my head. I. Yeah. I must have been in here when it happened. Um. Yeah. Uh, come this way. All right. I so, mean, if you're gonna take us to the armory, let's go, guys. So uh, meanwhile, Stormigan's fished his hammer out of the <laughs> out of the gate. Okay, uh, it is severely damaged by the C four. That's fine. And uh, comes walking over to the group and holds out that metal thing that was on the. Oh, the, you went to go pick there. it up. Yeah, I picked it up. Okay, so uh, make a resolve it. roll for me. Sniffed it. Yeah, I sniffed it. Gave it a little lick. Doing science, you know. 
no. So hold on, I can, I'm going to use a strain on it because this is very important. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> um. So uh, so when you go to pick this thing up, you get like you get an electrical shock and like it feels like you just got hit by a bullet and like you you're blown across the room. Uh. So uh, let's see. You can take a d6 uh, from this thing. Uh, reduced by armor. <laughs> and uh yeah you're like so you guys are talking to this this guard and then you hear like this uh what sounds like a gunshot and a like the electricity from earlier and you see stormy go flying across the room oh no storm again what the what i i run over and check his vitals ah uh, that metal thing the what metal thing that thing on the floor. Oh, the thing on the pedestal? Metal. Metal. No, what? floor. I, I, oh, that. Okay. I'll go over and see if I can take a reading from it. Okay. With my tricorder. All right. So you take a read. Go uh, roll insight. I'm rolling. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you, you go take a reading. Um, it seems like this thing stores energy. Uh, it's got like a handle and then, um, a scepter, like it's like a ball, like a, almost like a mace. Um, but it's, it's a little more decorative, uh, and it's made of brass. Uh, and it seems like whatever it is, like it, it takes in energy and then will like release it. Hmm. Doesn't seem messed up by getting shot though. I think it was storing the energy from the shot in it. And that's what just happened to the Stormageddon. You oh, took, you took the energy and from your shot. And your shock uh, nova. And my shock nova, yeah. So it, it shocked <laughs> I, and shot you. I, I'm real sorry about that, cat man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why well, you you not you do nothing? Uh, Metal thing, metal thing yes. hurt. Oh. So now now that it <laughs> it has been discharged, well, discharged. Oh. I'm I'm going to uh, check to see if. It's still storing any t- any energy in it currently. Uh, it doesn't seem so. Okay. Based on your tricorder readings. Uh, Stormageddon only thankful. I pick up instead of lick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think though Stormageddon, this would be a good replacement for the uh, for the hammer thing that you lost. Oh, Stormageddon, think this be good replacement for C four. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. Just, uh, whatever you do, just keep hitting it on the ground as we walk. Yeah. Yeah. Just, All okay. the time. Just fill it up. So pick it up. Mm-hmm. Can I? Can I touch it? Can I? Yeah, you go to pick it up. Yep. Smack it on the floor a few times. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, fill it. Fill it full of kinetic energy. Yep. Yeah. Find a random cobalt on the floor and just poke it. It like goes flying back like you kicked it. Yeah. This is good. This, this is this is this is good weapon. This is good. So now, <laughs> for the rest of the times, as we're walking around, he's just constantly smacking this thing on the floor. Okay, it is made of brass, so, so it makes like this pang sound. Gone. So when you hit it, it's like ding, 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 uh, ding, yeah. ding, ding. We're announcing ding. our revi- arrival to every mm-hmm. enemy in the place. <laughs> So you're just charging it up? Ding, 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 yeah, ding, might, ding, might ding, be ding. worth it, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Just come and get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, the sound of the oncoming doom. Cool. Uh, so the, the the guard leads you guys to the, like, shows you guys how to get into the armory so he can get himself a, wep- a sidearm. Right. Uh, and uh, that's a good place to take a rest if you guys want to rest in here. And we can take a five-minute break. That would oh, be okay. great. Do you want to take a five-minute break? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna break for five. We will be right back, and more um, when we get back, you guys can roll a uh, roll to rest because there's the, you can roll to regain hit points and stuff. Cool for so. our last hour of the game. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll be back in five minutes.
And we're yeah, back. The eyeball is never the preferred intake orifice for heroin. <laughs> no, no, I made a mistake. <laughs> Definitely don't put heroin in your eyeballs. Or your body. Just don't do heroin. <laughs> don't do drugs, kids. Alright, well welcome back. Um so as we as we left for our break, you uh you all were gonna rest for a bit in the uh or you don't have to, but if you want to you can. Uh take a rest. Um uh, when you I would rest love to rest. Okay. When you rest you uh you get to roll a d6 for each um, each strain that you have unchecked. So each strain you haven't used, you get to roll a d6 and heal that much. So mm. do three strain. I used one, so I, I get to... Roll 2d6 roll and two heal d6. that much. Cool. Lost five. I got five. I am back to max. Stormageddon nice. has four temporary nice. hit points. Because that's how healing works in every system. <laughs> you overheal. All right. All right. Yep. I am at full hit heals. Okay. Uh, so you guys. I never got hit. <laughs> um. So I'll keep watch while everybody's rest. Okay. Cool. Uh. So yeah. So there's there is an armory. It looks like most of the weapons are gone. Uh. There's a couple of sidearms. Um. And and a, and a bit of ammunition. Um. But for the most part, like all of the uh, like shotguns and stuff are gone. Uh, looks like whoever didn't get knocked out took that stuff and then made their way out of the breach from this area. Yeah. Um, the secure exit, you can see like there's this side of the control panel, the control area and the exit are um, damaged. So like you can't get through that way. Um, so whoever whoever was in here must have either gone out to the yard through this other door on the top left here um, or headed into the break to try to make their way out. Uh, okay. um, and there are some people still in their cells. If you, uh, um, you, you can't open the doors from this side, you'd have to go back around and go to the control room to open the doors. So they're like stuck in their cells and they're like I shouting. I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> They're safe in their cells? No, we can open a cell. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> we you have can, proven. You can definitely open a cell. Um, all right, so what do you guys do? Uh, I'm going to go over to one of the prisoners. Okay. And uh, did you uh, did you see which way the, uh, the person in here went? Um. Yeah, uh, when the... Look, you gotta get me out of here. I can't... It's not safe. You're safe in your cell. We just right. said for you to get out of here, and now you're saying you want to stay, and now you're saying we gotta get you out of here. So which is it? Look, I... Okay. When the thing happened, uh, there was, a, a like, a, a crazy noise, and it just sort of ripped through the other half. I couldn't... I didn't get a good eye on it but i can kind of see it from here it just tore up that whole side of the building and then these like weird lizard men came out and they was like running around and the the like several of the it, i heard a lot of the cells open and it was just like there was all of a sudden it was crazy like there was noises and and the alarms went off and and the wardens was like everybody get to get down and 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 like they ran that way off into the... It was crazy. Anyways, things calmed down a little bit, but several of the lizard guys took a lot of prisoners off that way and, and like, back into the... Wherever that is. Back in the break. Alright. Thank you for your help. Yeah. Yeah, now get me you out of this put... cell. Oh, we can't actually do that. Sorry. Are you kidding me? And then don't you want to walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Come back here! Uh, Alright, well let's head back you, into the break, guys. You'll be safe in there. Yeah, I mean... Sure? <laughs> I'll, like, pull out a protein bar out of my pack and, like, <laughs> give it to the guy and be like, I don't know how long you're gonna be in here. You may want to ration this. What? No, you gotta... <laughs> so he's, like, screaming more. He's like, let me out of here! Uh, and there's a couple other guys like, yeah, let me out too. 
Just shut up and make some pruno. We'll be back later. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys head into the into the break. Yep. Okay. Uh, it looks like the best your best bet is that uh, other hallway um, from that room that you can get into uh, with the sunken thing. There was another uh, exit leaving there. Um, so you head into that way, it, uh, after a little while, there's, uh, um, there's stairs heading down. Alright, let's head down. Okay. Uh, so you guys, you guys are moving down the stairs, uh, and you can hear, um, you can hear sort of a commotion up ahead. Um, there's like some, like, growling, yipping sounds or something like that, uh, in the, in the room, like, beyond. Do you speak this language? Yes. No, I mean the, the growling, yipping, like the the sound, the, that sound. Do you speak this language? Yes. What do they say? Uh, something about a candle. <laughs> <laughs> and not to take it. Uh, roll, roll insight. Uh, Stormageddon has wild. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, and you rolled really well. Um, so you, uh, you definitely recognize this, uh, this language. They're speaking some sort of, like, draconic pigeon or something like that. And, uh, the, uh... Oh, now! <laughs> You're saying that there's a pigeon the size of a dragon? Or is it a dragon the size of a pigeon? Because I'm afraid... Either it's way, a, it's a little baby dragon. <laughs> They're everywhere. Tiny. They're the worst. The shitting on everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's a damn blight. Like little fly, little flying rats. Um. <laughs> uh. So they're they're talking about um, which one they're gonna eat. Okay. Uh, which one are they talking about eating? Uh. Well, they're arguing over whether they should eat the muscly one or the fat one. Yeah, they uh, talking about eating uh, the muscly one or the fat one. Uh, I don't know which one is which. Is well, clearly, they should eat the fat one because fat is where the flavor's at. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't. I don't think they're talking about us. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, oh. we, we we better hurry in there. I I mean, I think there might be people in there that they're trying to eat. Oh. Oh. In there, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, even you want to go first? Sure. Stay behind your Hold shield. up the light. Do, 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 do. All right, so even... C4 you, in my hand. Do you just charge in? Do you, like, walk to the door and throw the C4? No, I'm charged. I'm going to walk, okay. walk to the uh, So you see, um, you see a room with, like, several stone tables um, and, like, a bunch of chairs... Uh, like, they're not really chairs, they're more like, um, stools around these tables. Uh, and there's a bunch of the, uh, the lizard men, um, the kobolds, they're all around, and they've got, um, on the floor, they've got, like, what looks like an inmate, like a big muscly inmate guy, and, um, a sort of, like, fat, chubby inmate guy. Um, and they're, they look knocked out on the ground. Okay, how many kobolds? Uh, there's probably like seven of them in here. Hmm. And they're sort of like humans an acceptable loss to kill seven kobolds. No. Oh, okay. We can take care of them. There's okay. not that many. Uh, a pink one should shoot. Does I'm gonna go one? ahead and lay some C4 on the floor. By the door. Okay. And then I'm going to have everyone move back. And then I'm going to tell everyone, I'm going to make a really loud sound to lure them all to the door. And then I'm going to kill them all. And then we can go in and rescue the guys. But if you blow up the hallway, we won't be able to get in. Why not? Because it'll collapse. <laughs> well, okay. So all right, maybe maybe idea. not that plan. Okay. What do you guys want to do? There's se there's seven of them, and there's two. Uh, there's two. I mean, I, I feel people. like maybe Pinkman and Scott should get up there and shoot them. 
So then Storm again. Well, picks I can up fight. The... I can. Go ahead. Oh, I, I, I've got. I, I can take six if they wait. Hold up my revolver. Yeah, but Pinkman has a uh, spray and pray. So... If they take their turn. Yeah, yeah. So he should go first. Yeah, like if he's spraying and you're precision shooting, you guys should be good, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm known for my precision. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you guys want like a, uh, Pinkman like to run in barber. there and shoot with his gun? Yeah. I mean, I feel like he'd be more careful about not shooting the gar- the prisoners since he's, like, trying to rescue one. Right. Well, those guys are, like, you said they're knocked out. Or they're, yeah. like, on the ground. Yeah. yeah. They've, they've so even though kobolds aren't tall, we can still aim higher than dudes laying on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Um, so right. is everybody going to, like, take their turn, like, get set up to, like, fire everybody with a gun? Gonna, Or what's yeah. what's the plan? Yeah, Stormageddon is going to ready uh, right next to Pink Man. Okay. Does Stormy have a gun? No. Okay. You just you next cover to us Man. with the with the brass bat if yeah. they uh, if as they get soon close. as soon as Pinkman starts firing his machine gun, Stormy Gen is gonna take the brass thing and just stick it in front of his barrel. <laughs> That's gonna probably Stormageddon. have some unintended consequences. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. I do. <laughs> We should have been looking for electrical outlets on the way down here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I could just shock it with my stick for you. Um, yeah, that might work after this. <laughs> Look, Stormageddon, he has, he's very smart for a cat. <laughs> for a cat. Yeah. He's a smart cat. He is a, he, yeah, he is, he, he's, he's a scientist. In college, um, I had a cat for real that learned to turn on the lights in the kitchen because he didn't like to eat in the dark. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, our dog just barks <laughs> when he's sitting in the dark. Like, hey, motherfuckers, turn the light on. <laughs> <laughs> we got to teach him how to use the switch. Yeah. Um, all right. So, so yeah. So, who all is, is firing guns? Like, who's going to be on the shooting team? I, I feel like it's just Scott and Pinkman. Okay. I think, yeah, I think we're the... Well, Scott, why don't you roll, and then somebody roll a uh, plus one for Pinkman. Actually, no, why don't you roll, and then just get a plus one uh, from Pinkman firing, too. Get a plus what? I'm sorry? Uh, you have a plus one. Okay. So in your, mo- in your modifier. Yeah, so, so I will type one in on a top. one. Cool. There we go. Here we go. Big money. Ooh! No yeah! <laughs> <laughs> It says three for me. Oh, yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah, I got a three. I yeah. rolled a snake one eyes. Plus and one. Oh, you have a zero. A plus you, one. Better, you better shrink that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or you shoot yourself in your liver. So, um. <laughs> Stormy sticks the stick in and, uh. <laughs> yeah, so I think Stormy, like, That's... jams the thing in there. Like, I'm ready. And he just jams it in there. <laughs> and all of the, uh, all of the submachine. And, like, the Pinkman's like, what the hell? And, like, pulls his gun away because now, like, there's. Uh, fire going like bullets going everywhere. So everybody's ta- like taking some damage because the bullets ricochet back around the corridor and like hit everybody in the Friendly in the hallway. Fire. Um, so yeah, everybody's gonna take a d6. Everybody who's close. Um, oh god. Everybody takes six <laughs> minus armor uh, as the thing. But your uh, your thing is definitely charged up. Yeah. Uh, and now and the cobalt's like. Ah! And they like look and scatter under the tables, uh, and and like get out of sight. Well, we scared them. That's good. I think. All right, guys. And they actively stopped trying to eat someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they all scattered and hide. <clears throat> uh. Well. Uh. That could have gone a little better. And Pinkman screaming at it, get this damn cat back! What the hell were you thinking? Uh, I like how it's not my fault. (laughs) You rolled the dice, but yeah. Uh, Maybe we should move in and check on those uh, prisoners now that the kobolds have moved away. And Pinkman's like, do it your damn self! Aren't you the one that's looking for somebody? 
Good news, everyone. Rod is charged. <laughs> yeah, just save it for some big guy. Cause it's, yeah, don't it's do that on a cobalt. So he, he like, looks. Rounds and something guns. <laughs> he looks and he goes, none of them. Neither of them? No. Do what you're going to do. Uh, all right. Damn fool cat. I, 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 I'm going to move into the room. And go over and start checking vitals on the unconscious guys. Okay. Uh, so you, like, move into the room. Go ahead and make your insight check to check their vitals. Oh, yeah. Uh, apparently, whatever you guys did scared these kobolds. They ran. Um, Do doesn't they, seem uh, like they're in this room anymore. Do these guys also appear to have head injuries? Uh, no, no, they look like... Um, one of them's got, like, a pretty, damn, a pretty bad gash, like, near his throat. Um, the other one, uh, looks like he took some bite marks and, like, got beat up pretty bad. Okay. Um, their vitals, their vitals aren't good. Uh, which one appears to be the more likely to survive? Uh, you're doing triage? Um, the, the big muscly guy's probably gonna survive. Okay, I start, uh, giving, putting, giving him first aid. Okay. Um, so yeah, so you, you apply first aid to the other guy, like you stop the bleeding, um, in his, in his, like, chest and stuff like that, but mostly he just looks pretty beat up. Yeah. Um, the other dude was like, had his throat kind of cut, uh, and it looks like he's bleeding out. Eesh. Um, so yeah, you, you, you get enough, you stop the bleeding on the, on the big muscly guy and, um, like get him stable. Uh, but he's not uh, he's not awake uh, and he looks pretty heavy in the uh, in the room that we're in uh, are there any cells or anything adjacent like that open into this room uh, are there like ways out or cells cells no you'd have to go back to get to cells from where you can see okay uh, is Harrison still with us Harrison is there. Uh, he was back a little bit, so he didn't take a bullet uh, when the thing went off. So he's actually talking to Pinkman. Like, they're they're discussing, like, what the hell happened. Uh, hey, Harrison, do you want to try and get this guy back into the cells? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I could do that. All right. Okay, so he, uh, he comes over and he says, uh, oh, um... All right, and he, he tries to, like, lift him. Um, it looks like he's really struggling. Like, he manages to get him sort of, like, up over his shoulder, uh, and he, but he's, like, dragging his feet. All right. Uh, so he's, like, pulling him back that way. That'll keep him busy for a while. Yeah. yeah. Uh, catch up with us when you get him back into a cell. Okay. Or we'll come do. back down and try and drag up his yeah. friend. Okay. You think well, it's safe? I, I'm pretty sure uh, this guy's lost. Oh. Well, that's a shame. I shouldn't have made the joke about eating a fat one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I weighed the uh, the pros and cons of which one would actually survive, and uh, the bigger guy was the better the better candidate to receive first aid. Yeah. Um. So it seems like y you start to hear um like some scrabbling noises like maybe whatever the things you scared off have like gone to get reinforcements and come back, so you're here you hear like noises coming down one of the hallways. Uh, there's a couple of exits from this room. I mean, if we move on, they'll probably just get distracted by their meal. Possibly, if you want to leave this dude here. Yeah, but they're also going to then easily be able to go up the stairs and catch up with what's-his-face. Sure. sure. So we uh, we stay here and we, we try to kill these things? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, you use that brass stick uh, like uh, in them uh, Lord of the Rings movies. That guy with the big <laughs> stick made swinging them back and forth, just knocking little bastards around. <laughs> That's, that's what is movie? Oh, what is movie? What is movie? Um, all right. Who is this Lord of Ring? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, you guys lay an ambush. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, are you gonna do anything to prep, like move Story the tables around, idea. or are you just gonna stand there and wait?
Didn't you say they were stone tables? Uh, yeah, but they're, um, it looks like you could, like, take the top off and, like, lean it up against the thing. Well, then, yeah. Stormy have idea. Learn plan from great man, master tactician. Amazing. You take your C4, you put it under dead fat man. When cobalts come eat, you explode. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh, that's not a bad <laughs> 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 Smile, you son of a bitch. Uh, uh, Evan, what do you think? I don't know. Do you want to use your, uh, your use C4, C4 to blow up the dead guy and, and get all the kobolds? Is, isn't the same possible outcome? An issue, or do we not care about it? No, we're in a bigger room now, right? In the little yeah, you're in the middle of the room instead of the doorway. Think it'll, think it'll be better. Yeah, I mean, I think we put it under the guy, and then we go back in the hallway, <laughs> and then you hit it when they all come in uh, to eat. Uh, it's Storm Again's tactics. So we're gonna follow here. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally guy, on board. The fat guy's dead, so. All right, All right, set it, because they're coming. All right, set it underneath his belly. Okay. And then uh, run out of the room. <laughs> make make an insight <laughs> check for me. I've seen sure. some messed up stuff in my time. <laughs> I just got to take the cake. <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, okay, so yeah, so you, you get it set. Um, oh, yeah, sorry, when you rest, you get back half your strain after you heal. So everybody who spent one strain gets it back. So. Oh. I bump it up to a ten. He's okay, a so yes, yeah, so you 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 prep it just right so that it'll like have a nice distribution. <laughs> um, actually, actually, you know what? Can I take that stream back? No, I already rolled it. Okay, yeah, I already rolled it. Um, so so yes, yeah, so you you set the the explosives just right. What do you um? Are you just putting it under the body and then hiding in the hallway? Yeah. All right. So like all these things run in ready to fight. They've got like little weapons. Uh, and they, they like rush in and they see that everybody's gone and then they see the, one of the bodies is gone and they're like, start like gibbering to each other. Like, Oh no, uh, half the food is gone. We should eat now. And like, they rush over, uh, and, uh, and they all start like biting on this guy. Do it, man. Do it. <laughs> so there's, there's this heat, like the whole building sort of like, like this. Uh, and dust se like settles Shutters. above, like falls from above you, and uh, the the like the tables go flying across the room. There's just like a mix of like human and lizard parts everywhere. Like uh, the whole room is just covered in gore, uh, and yeah, it's it's clear. <laughs> it's like that old internet video about when they tried to, to get rid of the whale carcass with dynamite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it just rained everywhere. <laughs> yeah, like parts crushing cars and stuff. <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah. Oh, God. All right, well, let's keep going, Room's I clear. guess. Uh, so, the dude, so Harrison comes running up behind and he's like, oh, my God, what was that? Uh, there was Tactics. A... <laughs> Nothing. It was an accident. There was a trap. Yeah, you don't got to worry about the other guy no more. <laughs> <laughs> what? What happened? There seems to have been some kind we of explosion. Got them kobold. Big fight. It's all over now. Don't go in there. You should leave. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Sure. Um, yeah, maybe I will go. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like it he... looks like the bathroom at a truck stop in there. <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of see over your shoulder like the gore and he's just like yeah may maybe i should go like, maybe what? i should i'll go get help i'll go tell them yeah i'm gonna go and he like takes off to leave that's a good call yeah, it's probably it's probably a good idea all right guys uh iron stomachs we gotta move through <laughs> so you guys trudge through the gore i'm gonna slide my feet so i don't slip <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> There's a, a couple exits from this room. Um, back the way the kobolds came. Um, one that looks like it goes further down. And then uh, one that goes off to the, the right. I mean, we're looking for 
people to extract and a way to close this break, right? Yep. Down we go. Okay. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so you guys make your way slowly across the room. Um, who's, who's like, got the high speed? Who's, who's or who's slow? Uh, I am at normal speed. Anybody slow? Normal. I am fast. Okay. So, nobody's, nobody's slipping around in the stuff, because everybody's pretty quick. Uh, their reflexes are pretty good, and they're not weighed down with a ton of gear. So, you guys, you guys make your way, uh, take, being careful across the room, and, uh, it looks like this next area slopes down, um, and, and, you know, kind of curves. Uh, you guys just, who's, who's, like, leading the pack? Back to Evan up front? Yeah. I'll do my light holding. Okay. So as you're making your way down the down the hallway, you start to hear um, you start to hear chanting um, coming from oh, from goody. down below. Oh goody! Maybe um, there's like a bunch of hippies. Hey, uh, Evan. Maybe these are your people. <laughs> Could be. Um, so you, you get, you get down this, like the, the spiral thing goes around a couple of times and then it comes out into a long hallway Mm -hmm. and the hallway on one end ends and there are more cells. Like you can see the, the, like more of the prison over there. Mm -hmm. Um, and then on the left you see, like there's a, there's a hallway to the left and that's where the sound is coming from. That's where like the chanting is coming from. Uh, do I recognize like the language? Uh, you can make an insight check. Um, yeah, I mean, it sounds it sounds similar to what was uh, what what you heard before, um, but a little more sophisticated. Okay. Like the voices sound a little more sophisticated. It's not as much yipping and barking and that kind of sounds. Right, but it's still like like that same tone of what those kobolds sounded like. Yeah, so it's it's like the same language, but spoken by a more elegant person. Okay. Uh, Stormageddon. What, what are they saying? Uh, listen. Okay, what are they saying? Oh, um, uh, they're, so they're, like, chanting, um, Great Crystal, bring us, uh, you know, bring us wealth and riches, uh, we will sacrifice many meat men uh many pink men <laughs> they're gonna sacrifice pink men <laughs> they wish to sacrifice the pink man to crystal who is crystal what uh, the hell did you did. do to crystal they did not say pink man. pinkman's like what <laughs> <laughs> did you say they want to sacrifice me specifically <laughs> yes they said sacrifice pink man to crystal <laughs> are you sure they're not just talking about us people Translation: Pink man. He holds up his he holds up his his arm and he's like pink. Mm, yeah. I don't. Yeah, that's what no? they said. No, not what he's talking we about. Go, we should go ask them. Yeah, but, let's go uh, ask them. If there's a crystal down there, you know, I got dibs. <laughs> of course, you fucking do. <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> we. Uh, I already gave the cat man the brass bat. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. All right. Before we go in there, we should go and clear. Uh, Pinkman says we should go and clear the other cells. Make sure that there's nobody else behind us that's gonna come in. Uh. What? I mean, I feel like if we stop the chanting, maybe the rift will close. Yeah, but then what if it pull like anybody else on this side is gonna get tore up. Oh, that's true. Okay. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Do I know what do I know what room is above the room where they're chanting? Make an insight check. Yeah, definitely. I know C4 isn't the solution to everything, but maybe it is. <laughs> Could we go up top? And then do C four on the floor, 
and then try and have it break and fall on top of them, and then we can be away from this area when it happens? Uh, you, you're pretty sure that that might work. Um, it, you're pretty, you're, you're almost certain that the power, uh, like the generators are above this room. Um, uh, we wouldn't want to destroy those. So things. there's like, there's like a, probably, uh, like the power unit in like everything that controls all the energy, the, uh, what am I, transformers and shit, uh, yeah. are above this room. So if you'd wanted to do that, you could totally do that. The explosion would be spectacular. Mm. But, um... You're looking at, uh, like, some serious... Like, the, the prison will be destroyed, probably. Um, but uh, it would take out the crystal, which would also close the breach. Uh, if the crystal is actually the right crystal. Like, if it's if this is the keystone crystal they're chanting to. Yeah. Stormageddon does like idea. Or we can just bum rush this and just have Scott shoot him. And I can, I'll like, try. put a shield up to defend him. And we I... can just pop him. I, I know this is not a popular opinion, but I do actually agree with Pinkman. I don't think we should feed the cat to them to distract them. No, no, I was going to say I agree with Pinkman that we need to go check the other cells and make sure we get anybody okay. that is actually in the breach out before we destroy the crystal in case there is collateral damage. Okay. Not that I think... Should... Not that I think the human life is the thing that's important in this situation, but I would hate to get blamed for anything. Yeah. The only argument against that is usually chanting is leading somewhere. And True. we don't want them to finish chanting <laughs> and have something extra super bad to happen. Right. That is... But yeah, we can. Let's do a quick run up through the other cells and see if we can find anybody else. Yeah, let's make like let's make this this search as quick as possible. If there's no one up there, we. You know, and we don't stop. If someone's too injured, we leave them behind. All right. So you guys, uh, you guys are gonna make your way into the other cells. Yeah. We can get okay. the healthy ones to help the injured ones, and they can get out of here. Yeah. Uh, so you guys, you guys make your way into the other thing. You can hear someone shouting. Put up your hands. Put up your hands. Put your hands up. Put your hands up now. Identify yourself. No, they're not shouting it to you. So you turn the corner. Oh. Uh, and you see uh, there is a guard with a shotgun and an inmate with his hands on, like, someone who's, like, leaning over somebody. And the guard is screaming, put your hands up. Uh, and the guy on the ground is like, I can't do it. I can't put my hands up, man. You got to just, you got to trust me. I cannot put my hands up right now. And the guard is, like, screaming and he's got his shotgun leveled at him. Whoa, now. I... Suddenly, have turned into Christopher Walken. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, now, now. now. Um, what? Let's put the gun down. The, we we don't need to shoot other people today. We should worry about shooting deadly lizard men. No, no, you don't understand. He's killing this guy. He's like, no, that's not what's happening, man. I am. I'm just. I gotta keep my hands on his throat. He got cut. He's going to bleed out. And he's like, hands up. Oh, yeah. Put your hands up. And he's them, like shaking. Them, them lizard men like to go for the neck. We've already seen that before. It gets real messy if we lift dead bodies around. So let's make sure this guy doesn't die. So the dude with the shotgun is like shaking and screaming. Um, and he's not like responding to reason. Uh, the, uh, I'm going to hold up the I'm going to hold up the C4. And I'm going to say, if you don't put that gun down, we're all going to blow up. <laughs> okay. Uh, make, I wouldn't uh, test him. He's serious. Make an insight check. I love insight checks. They're my favorite checks. That's best check. All right. Are you good? Are you good with that? Or you want to spend some? Uh... Mm -mm. Oh, all right. Damn it! Why do I Ten. keep doing that? Sorry. What? I keep forgetting to use my luck. I'm waiting to use my luck for a Oh, failure. to just ignore a bad outcome? Yeah. Um, but it, yeah, okay. It's okay. So, save it. so you get a 10. Um, we'll so, like, he looks over and he sees you <laughs> holding C4 and a detonator. Yep. <laughs> and it looks like he's about to swing the shotgun to you and it, like, clicks. Like, there's no way I could swing the shotgun faster than he can push that button. And he just, like, <laughs> lowers the shotgun and he's like, you don't understand. You don't understand. They're everywhere. 
Yeah, we, we know. <laughs> We've me. killed like 30 of them. What, We're what's, aware. What's everywhere? The inmates. They've gone crazy. Yeah, are they in this part of the prison? Yeah, uh, but, uh I, I don't know. I just... You, you can see, like, his eyes are, like, wide, um, and he, he's obviously had, like, some sort of break. Uh, sir, what, sir, what's your name? Uh, uh, Jennings. J- Jennings, okay. Yeah. Je- Jennings. Do you remember what happened here? Yeah, yeah there was, there was a riot, and, and the inmates went crazy, and there was attacking people, and, and, uh, I, I don't know, I, I think I've seen him eating somebody. Do you know Harrison? The other guard? Yeah. Yeah, he got knocked out. Uh, okay, we found Harrison. What? He okay? He's okay. And we were told by him and command that uh, we need to send all of the guards out of the prison at this time. Yeah, but what about Billy? Who's Billy? The, he, he's bleeding out over there. Is that, is that, that guy's a, killing him. Is that a guard? Billy? Yeah. Okay, I, I'm going to go check on him. And the the inmate is like, I ain't killing him, man. I, I yeah, uh, it's you're okay. What what's your name, sir? Ollie. All you right, call Ollie. me Ollie. All right, Ollie. All right, you Jennings, you stay here with my friends. Okay, you keep that gun down, and I'm gonna go over and see what's going on. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I walk over to Ollie, and obviously I can see that he's like holding a wound on. His yeah, he's like got pressure yeah. on his neck because yeah. it's like been cut and it's yeah. bleeding. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up my tricorder and do a vital scan. Okay. On Billy. Yeah. Cause science. What sure. Is? So you do some science. Uh, yeah, you're pretty sure if you stop the bleeding in his neck, he will be fine. Yeah, I mean. Obviously, that totally makes sense. Uh, do you want to use a one of your first aid kits? Uh, do you have any left? I have I have one first aid kit left. Okay. Uh, so I am going to use it to uh, stop the bleeding. Okay. Uh, this guy helps you. Like he seems like he knows his way around some first aid. Yeah. So we we wrap we, we close up the wound. Yeah. With some of those like butterfly stitch things. Yeah. <laughs> Then we cover it in a big bandage. Okay. And the guy's probably still out cold, right? Yeah, he's out. Okay. So I'll call to uh, to Jensen. Uh huh. And to come over. He come. Yeah, he comes. And he... I'll, I'll show. I'll show him. I, I'll say this. This. This man has a neck injury. All I hear is a hero. Uh, can we get you to help get Billy out of the prison? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I. I got him. I. I could get him out. Um. And Ollie, uh, Ollie looks up and he's like, look, man, as long as you don't point that gun at me no more, I'll help you get him out of here. Like, we can walk him to the front. He's like, got his hands up. They're all bloody from the thing. And Jennings is like, uh, uh, like he doesn't know what to. I'll like yeah. pull out the last little bit of gauze that I have and like give it to the guy to like wipe his hands off with. Oh, thanks. Try to get the blood off he, his hands. He like cleans himself. You, you know, up. what's good for that is that lava soap. <laughs> Just saying, get some of that. It's good. It gets the blood out. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Thanks that's for a, that expert information. That's there, a real Scott. calm response right now. But thanks. <laughs> thanks, man. Uh, um. All right. Yeah. Uh. Look. Uh, after that rift with the blood river, it, it was bad. <laughs> bad. Oh, you couldn't get it. I mean, it was that in everything? It was in my hair. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I kind of like oh, shudder from the blood, from not the, the blood the, river. Not the blood river. Not the blood river. Um, <laughs> the blood uh, river and with the neon goblins. Um, with the neon goblins. So you you look over and you see. Um, so yeah. So the uh, Ollie and Jennings um, sort of like get an arm under uh, Billy. Billy and they they start like walking back with them. Uh, like they're gonna leave, and you you can see off in the distance now. Uh, Pinkman is uh, like opening a cell. Hey, Pinkman, so, did you uh, find somebody in a cell? Uh, no. Why are you opening a cell? And and you hear you hear somebody in the cell go, uh, "Hey, buddy, what's no, 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 it's." Hey, hey, what are you doing? And he, like, pulls up his gun. Like, Pinkman, like, lifts his gun. 
Oh, man. I see what this is. Well, man, what are you doing? Agent Pinkman, the hitman. Apparently. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't want us to get blamed for this guy getting killed. Do you guys? Stormageddon see? is gonna take the scepter and just chuck it. Oh gosh! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, so the scepter, like, <laughs> make a make a prowess roll for me. Oh my god! You can do it. You can do it. Dude, he's got. to use he's a got strain. All yeah, the like, strains. Come on, man! He got strain. He's got all the strain. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fourteen. So the thing, like. Hits him right in the side of the head, and he just like, <laughs> like it. It's like someone kicked him in the head, and he just goes down. Like he immediately, like it's like, Poof, and he just like, and like goes straight to the ground, and um, like just he, he's yeah, he just ragdolls to the ground and like skitters across the room, uh, and the 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 scepter like ding 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 ding, ding. Uh, so like he just got hit by a you know. Mac truck on the side of his face. So Storm again, walk over, pick up the pick up the scepter, hand it to Scott. Let's be like, you can have this. Yeah. <laughs> and grabs Pinkman by the leg and just starts dragging Pinkman. Is it this is mine now. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> hold, hold hold on, hold on. Hold on, Stormy. And I like get in his coat or whatever he was wearing and mm-hmm. pull out the piece of paper that he kept checking. Uh, yeah, it's got a cell number on it. Okay. <clears throat> it's the one he was standing in front of. Uh, and there's a dude in there, and he looks, like, real nervous. Uh, what's your name? Tommy. To- Tommy, why, why, uh, why you got a hit out on you? Uh, look, man, I don't know, um, uh. Look, the decision between whether or not you stay in this place when it collapses or you get to leave the prison is all up to me. So if you want to oh, if you shit. want to get out of here, you better tell me what's going on. Oh shit, lady. Okay, look. Uh I made a deal. I was going to sing um uh yeah, I don't know. Uh they were supposed to come and move me today and then this happened. I don't know what to say. Like uh so do you let him out of the cell or I no. I look at Scott and I go, "What do you think?" Fucking this is, rat. This is your expertise. <laughs> a fucking rat. Uh, do you, you, you know, get a look at him, who Scott? Who you gonna? Who, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you actually recognize him as like uh, like a famous uh, like gangster underling kind of guy. Like he's been in the news recently for getting arrested. Um, he goes by Tommy Bluebird. <laughs> and he's like, look, look, I, I got connections. I got connections. I can, whatever you want. Well, I don't I mean, think you got connections anymore. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I think you pissed off your connections. You, you I, get into. No, 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 no. You're gonna be like a rat. You're gonna die like a rat. What? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Scott goes all hard all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look over at Scott. You just... really, really, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> well, who are you gonna rat on? Uh, he, he names, like, a famous gangster that you owe money to. Oh. Yeah, all right, let's get him out of there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, what'd you say you, Say your name was again? Tommy, Tommy Bluebird. Ta- Tommy? I- all right. Uh, hey, Ollie, do you think you can uh, carry Billy on your own? Ollie, they're, they're, like, already at the door, and he looks back, and he goes, uh... I mean, he's... Yeah, I can try. Yeah, Jen, I, Jensen, I can get him. You, you got handcuffs? J- J- uh, Jenny's like, uh... uh um, uh, 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 And he checks and he goes, yeah. And he, like, holds up uh, some handcuffs. All right. They're like the... um, It's probably, like, zip tie thing. Yeah. With, like, a brace in the middle. All right. T- turn around, Tommy, with your hands behind your back. Hey, no, you don't need to lock... You don't need to... Come on. I mean, I don't understand. No. Like, I could help. Like, how want, am I supposed to... Do you want out of here? Yeah. All right, turn around. All right, he turns around and holds his hands out. I so put can... the zip tie things on, and then I, like, push him out in front of Jensen. I'm like, all right, take this one with you. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. You keep him safe. <laughs> yeah, I look at the guy, I look at uh, Pinkman, and I'm like, this guy was here to do a hit on him, so if he walks out of this prison, there's a pretty good idea that uh, somebody else is going to come after him. Um, yeah, you, uh, so he says, get me to so-and-so, my contact, and, um, it's the lady who was in charge. Uh, who's got the radio? Yeah, I do. look around, I'm like, didn't we have a radio? Forgot, yeah, yeah. We want to radio back to headquarters, tell them we got a couple more inmates coming out that are help tapering and injured, and kind of get them update. So, uh, yeah, all of that. (laughs) Cool. Perfect. So you, you send that back, um, and uh, Jennings is like, he looks a little nervous, but he's he's a little more clear-headed now. Ollie's got the guy, and they all head out back the way you guys came. Awesome. So can we do, like, a real quick sweep? Just everybody take a side, look through the cells, make sure we've got everybody, yeah. and then let's head down to the um, chanting. At that point, the, the break, like, shudders and grows. Ah, shit. All right. We've wasted enough time. Let's get downstairs, guys. Yeah. Do the chanting. Time to finish this. All right. So Storm again has Pink Man over his shoulder. He's carrying him. <laughs> okay. What are you going to do with him? Sacrifice to Crystal? <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> okay. We get, we get down there. <laughs> it's just this... <laughs> There's just this woman sitting on a throne. You just throw, They're all throw the body at Crystal. <laughs> Crystal's the woman. <laughs> the idea that Crystal's She's like, kid. I've been waiting for you, Pink Man. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have run out on me. <laughs> um, that's, this that's, is canon in Storm Again's brain. Yeah, I really that's wish. Exactly I really want to. Crystal's happening. just his, like, knocked out girlfriend. <laughs> his, yeah. You can't leave me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> perfect. Um, okay, so you guys, you guys head back down that way. Um, when you get to the bottom, there is, uh, or to the like opening, uh, there's like a big circular uh, room with pillars, and it looks like there's some people kind of tied up, um, uh, uh, like to the pillars, and this big crystal in the ceiling. Um, like human people. Yeah, uh, like, well, people, like human people, not lizard people. Yeah. And uh, all around the crystal are uh, a bunch of, um, like, women in gowns. Uh, and they're, like, they have their arms up and they're chanting. Not, like, like evening gowns, right? But, like... like <laughs> no, it's it's evening gown wear. Yeah, like flowy clothing, <laughs> right? This is like, ball gown wear. I mean, it's it's fancy or nothing at all. Yeah, like, uh, robes would be a better description. Um, no, but like, formal wear. But they're, like, lacy, or, or not lacy, uh, like, thin. Like, a thin material, like silk. Gauzin? Um, yeah, and they're, they're, like, they have their hands up, and there's, like, this green energy pooling in their hands that's, like, going into the crystal. Um, and there is uh, a woman, not uh, on a, not in a... Not, yeah, the crystal is uh, is on the other end, uh, and there's that woman with the big snake head, um, and it's but it's like a real person standing there with this giant like snake head, and she's like like hissing and sl- making slithering sounds. No, uh, that's just messed I would, up. I would like to take a reading of the area. Yeah, sure. With my tricorder. Go ahead. Uh, to determine what kind of energy this green energy is that's coming off of the crystal. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, we're not looking at the thing. Um, but uh, that was a 14. Yeah, a 14, so, guys. Uh, yeah, the, uh, there is definitely, like, arcane energy being pooled here. Uh, it is um, being channeled into the, the crystal to make the rift grow, to break, to increase the size of the break. Like, they, they made this break on purpose, and they want what it, something here. Uh, so they're, like, the spell that, cause, like, from that insight check, you get the, like, yeah. this spell is just meant to make the break bigger, so that they can, like, take over more of so this realm. So are they realm. pouring energy into the, the crystal, into the crystal, or the crystal is suck, like, pouring they're energy They're putting into energy that. into the crystal. Okay. Yeah, they're, like, empowering the crystal. Okay. And, uh, you, you, the, like, the people that are tied up, it's a mix of inmates and people in like 
leather gear and stuff. Like, it doesn't, they don't look, um, they're not wearing modern clothing. So, like, maybe people from this side and then some people from our side. Okay. Uh, are the people that are tied to the pillars, is there any way to, like, sneak over to any of them without being seen by Snake Lady or the cultists? I mean, they're pretty pre preoccupied with their task. You could definitely try to sneak in there. How many people are there? Uh, there are seven uh, women and then the snake woman. No, I meant like the... Oh, prisoners. like tied up? Uh, there's, there's like, uh, like five, uh, other world people and, um, like three or four prisoners. Okay. Uh. So I guess I'll, I'll look at the team. Do we sneak in and save the, the people or do we just collapse the break? Uh. Why don't... And do we have an extraction plan? Do, do you think... Well, we just got to get out of here. I think maybe the C4 on the crystal is a good idea. Yeah. Because um, then we could trigger it from closer to the exit. With your with your really good roll there, um, I'm also going to give you... You can see that the, like, the one closest to you, the one other world person closest to you, they are currently trying to cut their binds. Hmm. So, like, they're conscious. And you can see, because you're looking at the back of the pillar, right. so like they're they're over there. They're like trying to like cut it with some piece of stone or something they found on the ground. Uh, is Storm again so, super stealthy? I <laughs> could uh, I could charge in there and stick the brass scepter into the into the green energy. <laughs> you could try to do that, yeah. That so, would be a distraction for you to get the other people free. Yeah. It's oh, not. and I should explain the crystal is big too. It's like, uh, uh, it's probably like three feet tall and like two feet across. So when when Scott, when you make that suggestion, I kind of look at you surprised, like, "Wow, that's that's really heroic of you, Scott." Well, you know, like if I could suck up all that energy, then I could maybe take out these cultists and take whatever they got. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So from see, I couldn't Storm see the against... angle, so I just thought it was like heroes' yeah. work. So from I just thought pillars, I cleared that up for you. From these pillars with these outsiders tied up to it, and their hands are bound behind them. Mm -hmm. uh, do any of them appear to have like kitty paws? None of them. Oh, you know what? Are any of them mama? Yep. Um, yeah, you know what? Make, uh, make an insight roll. Whoop. Yeah, uh, you can see, um, like, the far end, there is a woman, um, who's, like, her, her face is turned away, but, like, her leather gloves are torn, and there's, like, orange fur underneath. Mm. But, like, the face is obscured. I really okay. want to like out of character say something, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> refrain from from driving us off track here. Uh, okay, so I like your idea, Scott. I think it's the only idea we have right now. So let's go for it. Evan, you guys try and free the prisoners. I'll try and distract them. Evan gets ready to blow the. There's crystal. Alright. Stormy, you want left or right? <clears throat> uh, pillar. <clears throat> Points at the pillar over there. Just cool, pillar. you're going you're going left then. Mm. Okay. D don't, you're gonna get all the people on that side? Pillar. Start with that pillar and then get all the rest of them. Yes, okay? we go now. Okay. Scott, go first. All right. I'm going to just sprint. Okay, so you just rush in like, and shove I'll, the thing into the... Yeah, I'll drop the bag that I've been carrying around, like, all the heavy tools in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. But I'll just charge in there and I'll... Yeah, um, well, you're just going to rush in and, like, jam your hand into some arcane energy, so why don't you roll resolve <laughs> to see if you can just... Yeah, I can do that. Oof. Ooh, strain it. Yeah, I strain should it. go for the strain, yeah. <laughs> strain Are you lucky, is a good too? idea. 
I think I might be actually. Let me double check. I think I went with. Oh, I gotta remember. Uh, yeah, I am lucky. I'm gonna do the luck. Okay, Yay. so you can just ignore a bad outcome once per thing. So uh, I'll, I'll describe what the bad outcome would, would have been, <laughs> and you can choose to ignore it. Um, so you rush in there, and, uh, like, your momentum was too fast, would, or would have been too fast, and the energy, like, from the thing, you would have hit the crystal and driven all that energy, like, right back into the crystal again. Uh, but you managed to catch yourself at the last second with like this, like, zzz, like there's like, it's humming next to the, uh, and you pull it back and you've got the, you've got this thing like up in the, uh, up in the energy and they all like, <sighs> like, look at you. Um, are they all snake ladies? No, they're just women. Um, oh, okay. they have like, uh, like dark skin and, um, like greenish hair. Uh, and they, like, they're all very slender features, um, and they all kind of look at you, like, angrily. Um, uh, well, while he's doing that, uh, I run in and, like, pull out a knife and start cutting the ropes from each person on my side. Awesome. Uh, so you, you get in, are you cutting the inmates' sides, or the... I'm on the not mama side. Okay, so the inmates. So you, you're like cutting inmates out, and they like the. I'll, like, I'll cut a rope and say like, "Get out of here." All right. So yeah, they start running, um, because that was a hell of a distraction. Yeah. Um, and so they like they start running out. What's Stormageddon doing? Um, he's just gonna take Pinkman's body and just toss it into the center, and just say sacrifice for Crystal and sprint <laughs> towards the far pillar. Okay. Fair trade. Fair trade. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, roll. Um, why don't you roll prowess? Okay. Uh, so you get you get about halfway there. Um, at like you you stop to like heft this big body, this like heavy body, and it probably like hits one of the women. <laughs> And so she's like, ah, and it, like, falls on her, and she's, like, trying to get out from under it. <laughs> Fair trade! <laughs> Fair trade! <laughs> and, uh, like, you, you book it around the side. Um, at that point, the, the guy who was trying to get out of his bonds, like, finally cuts his bond and, like, runs over to the next pillar, like, grabs a big feathery hat, jams it on the dude's head, and says, William, we need to go, and, like, cuts his... <laughs> Uh, what, uh, what's Evan doing? Evan is waiting for them to get the aggros, and then I'm going to go and place some C4 on a beautiful crystal. Well, they, they've definitely got the, gotten the attention of the women in the middle. Um, uh, are you going to rush in there, or are you going to wait a little longer? I'm going to rush in there. Okay. Alright, so the, like, the spells have, are still, like, the back half are still funneling into the crystal. The front half have, like, stopped casting, and they're looking at um, Scott, except for the one who's now underneath Pinkman. Uh, the, all, of the, all of the women, like, that have stopped, like, probably three of them, are going to turn and, like, throw arcane energy at Scott. Okay. Scott deserves that. Are you, are you going to do anything about Damn. that? Damn! <laughs> Uh, uh, well, I will attempt to, to block it with the scepter. Like, just use okay. it like a vacuum. Okay, cool. Uh, go ahead and <laughs> roll... Buster? Yeah, <laughs> go ahead and roll resolve. Let's see what we get. Uh, now I'll use that strain. Sure. <laughs> that seems like a good time. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so you managed to, like, wait, like... They all shoot at the same spot, and you manage to, like, duck back and just put the scepter out where they were <laughs> shooting. Uh, and all this green energy, like, pours into the um, into the scepter. And it's sort of like, you can feel it shaking. Like, you can feel the scepter, like, all right. vibrating in your hand. Like, uh, can't hold it. I know what I gotta do next. Um, what are you doing, Evan? I'm gonna run in and put the uh, C4. Okay, make a insight to like place the explosives. Yeah, yeah I will. Killed it. Okay, 
<laughs> so uh, the um, you get the sense that if this arcane energy keeps pouring in here, it's gonna either de detonate or destroy the C four. Uh, so the but the C four is planted on this side of the crystal. Do I have all the people on my side cut off? Uh, yeah, pole? you managed to cut all your people. So now I'm towards the back of the room where the serpent lady is, and nearest the women that are still channeling. Mm hmm Okay. I'm going to start gathering energy, and I'm sucking it from the ladies who are trying to pour it into the crystal, and so I'm trying to suck it into me. Okay. I'm trying to steal their arcane energy. Suck okay. That lady energy. Cool. <laughs> so you're going to take energy. whatever this crazy lizard magic yep. empowering spell. Yep. Dimensional vortex, rip a hole in reality spell, and you're gonna pull it into you. Yep. And, and then what do you want to do with it? I'm gonna shoot it at Snake Lady. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm cool. I'm basically like sucking it in and trying to like conduit into the Snake Lady. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Let's try that. Who <laughs> wants to drink from the fire hose? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hit a. Uh, why don't you roll resolve? Actually, you know what? Roll uh, roll prowess because you're trying to attack with it. Oh, good. Uh, can I spend strain? I mean, you can. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, let's roll D2. D6. Oh, no! Oh, good. Damn. Oh, all right. lord. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah. It's, uh, that's not good, guys. Uh, all right. So, nope. the, uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> all this energy that was pouring into the crystal, like, you, you get it. Yeah. Uh, you I like. Got I got it, guys. You like throw your hands out and you're like, your power is mine or whatever, and it like starts poop like rushing out of them and into you. Yeah. And uh, for like a minute, you're like, I'm the ultimate sorcerer, and uh, and then like your arms explode. Yeah. yeah. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, so like. Up to about maybe like here, mm -hmm. there's just no arm now. It's just like. Pfft. Or is it, is it arms made out of the green energy? <laughs> I now have tentacle arms. <laughs> uh, you're not lucky, are you? No. Yeah, yeah. You you don't have arms now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So those are gone, yeah. and but the energies has stopped pouring into the crystals, so it seems like the C4 is safe. Yeah. Yeah. I uh. Well, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I mean, I it I feel like it's there's probably like blood and and things pouring out of me, so I'm gonna go ahead and die now. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that yeah. So uh, she crumples. Yeah. Uh, one of the inmates probably grabs her and like goes on because they she just saved them all, uh, and starts running out with her body. Um, <laughs> what are the rest of you guys doing? Uh, well, I, since I'm still holding this vibrating scepter of energy, I'm going to charge and try and smack the snake lady, because okay. I don't like snakes. All right, so you go to hit the snake lady, roll prowess. Yeah, that's not going to go super well. <laughs> Let's see. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. So you hit the you snake lady? A, you still have a strength, don't you? I do. I do. Yeah, you know what? I'll use one. Sure. What the heck? Oh, oh uh, I forgot to say, uh, when you die, you can instead mark a scar and cheat death. Do you want to mark a scar instead? Uh, sure, Clearly. I have no arms. <laughs> so, Clearly, that's I a have mighty no big scar. So, like, instead of no arms, instead it's just, like, your arms are, like, the, the skin was just, like, obliterate, you know, it was all, like, sure. the energy burst through it. So, it's like you got burn scars. Sure. Completely, you know, destroying your I'm skin. Still being dragged out by the prison. Yeah, but so. you, you cheat death. Um, all right, so you were at a nine. So, you do hit him, but you, you, like, I think what happens is there's, like, an explosion. Like, you just cast fireball in your space. Sure. Uh, so, like, this empowering <laughs> energy... Like, just explodes out and, like, throws her back and throws you back. And so, like, you fly back towards the door and she flies back into, like, a statue on the other side. Um, so you each take 2d6. Ooh. So you take 9 damage. Ooh. 
All right, let's see where I'm at. Uh, reduced by armor. Yeah, Cause... armor is for suckers. <laughs> <laughs> I got four hit points left. Um, Ooh. and the uh, the the other three people that were like being freed get out and have like they're running towards the door. Uh, what is Stormageddon doing? Are you running back into real world, or are you staying in other world? Well, I'm the, like you've the got one on the pillar. Yeah, you've got you've got mom. Like you you oh, cut so her free. Mom? You look at her, and what do you think? Do you think it's mom? Yeah. All right. So you pick up. You've got mom. Do you run right. into other world or back the other way? Other world. All I'm right. Home. So you you go like storm stormageddon picks up mom and rushes out into other world. Uh, the last person t- running towards the exit when that explosion happened and knocked Scott back, cut off the the escape. Oh, it, back into other world and they're stuck in here with you guys. So they like look around uh, wide eyed, um, and say look, where's out? How do that we get away. out? Done and like he they he just books it back the way you guys came. Um, I probably like I'm probably sitting up like still smoking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of like <sighs> yeah, south that way. Just just go that way. <laughs> um yeah, so he books it out the out the door. And uh, does everybody everybody leave at that point? <laughs> it's just gotten yep. even. Because I think that explosion <laughs> yeah. knocked out the the caster chicks. Uh, uh, so yeah, C four is in place. Mm-hmm. It's time to go. Okay, so you guys make a break for it. You're running up the hallways. When you get a suitable distance, you hit the C four. Oh, go, go ahead. Did the did the snake lady have any fanciness laying about her person <laughs> when she was standing? <laughs> uh, you know what? Make a just fortune roll. Just roll a D six. Roll one D six and let's see what we get. Here we go. So I think you went, she had like this really beautiful like gold plated jeweled necklace thing that you went to grab, but instead you just got like half of it because the explosion like oh, okay. blew it apart. So you ended up with like half of half of this like gold necklace thing. So it's not like this beautiful piece of jewelry anymore, but it's still worth the price of the gold and the gems. I know a guy. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Put a chain on it and fix it up. So, yeah. Uh, So you guys book it out of there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, So you guys rush out, blow the C4. The place, like, is crumbling in behind you. And you guys make it out the front door where all the people that you saved are waiting. uh, And the thing, like, implodes on it. Like, the as the brake closes, it, like, starts sucking stuff into it. Um... And uh, the guy uh, that you guys got out from Otherworld looks over and says, where the hell are we? In a language you don't understand. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, All right. So it's noon. Uh, I think that's a fitting end. What do you guys, you guys want to, is there an epilogue for anybody? Uh, I mean, I feel like uh, I go to the hospital and retire. (laughs) 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 I feel like like we need to create cybernetic arms. Yeah, you just get bionic arms that have all of your tools built into them. I just want to know why I always lose my arms in, like, every game. (laughs) Every game I lose arms. Like, this is a history for me. A very long history of arm losing. You do lose your arms quite a bit. Yeah. It's to pay you back for all the limbs that you shoot off of bad guys in every game. Appa- apparently. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Gordon, that's Gordon's excuse. I'm channeling Gordon right now. It's because you keep blowing off arms and legs. There you go. It's so, all my fault. <laughs> so Scott makes it out with a scepter and some loot. Uh, Evan makes it makes it out. Um, Stormageddon stayed in Otherworld. Melody has no arms. And uh, you guys, so Scott and Evan, you end up with a new companion named uh, Three Fort, who decided to stay in, uh, stay nice. on this side. Yeah. Great. 
I, I feel like uh, if you watch our podcast at all, I need to interrupt and say that pre-reg is open for Strategicon for those of you that are wanting to register. Uh, is it is it now. open now? It is open right now. Yes. Okay. Well, Sorry. thanks That's thanks everybody for joining us. We got to go. <laughs> We're going to go register for Strategicon. We'll uh, see you guys all tonight at 8 p.m. for the Pixel Scandal Nerdcast. Thanks, Have everybody. Fun. Thanks Bye. for having me. Bye. Thanks. Thanks, Dave, for being the, the guest. Bye. Love you.